We are live. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Dumaguete, Philippines. Janet's here somewhere. Our first live stream from our new residence. And I see there's a lot of messages already. Uh, let me see who came in early. And then we'll get on to the topic. Topic's going to be about scams, people scamming you, you scamming other people. You know, it's a two-way street. Oh, there's Janet. She, she's going to wander in front of back. So our, God, where I am, we belong. I'm so dark. She is so dark. Sorry, guys, because I'm so still missy. Missy. <laughs> I've been in the market of Valencia. You went to the market this morning. What'd you get? I get some fruits and vegetables. Ah, fruits and vegetables and some bread, some and pastries. Bread. You know, surprise, they have a, a good bakery up there. People who bake and have bakeries, they go up to the Valencia market and sell their wares on a Sunday morning. Yeah. Excuse me, guys. You don't need my coffee. I always have to have my coffee. Hello to all here, guys. Shout out to you guys. Good morning and good evening. Janet half dressed. Look at this tank top with a bra. Oh my God, she's showing everything today. Everybody got a free peeky boo early. Oh my God, sorry. It's so hot here in the Philippines. I need to take it out. It's hot. it's hot. All right, let me do a few hellos and then we'll get to the subject. Florida Gator, how you doing? Nice to see you. I'm not going to be overwhelmed with the comments anymore. If I get to them all, I will. Um, if you have a, a big question, uh, put a couple of question marks in front. I'm going to move uh, channel members and super chats to the front of the line, uh, but I'll try to get to everybody's comments. Uh, chicken legs, uh, hello. Hope everybody having a good weekend. Uh, to your chicken legs. Yeah, I think he can't be with us today. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you two in the new house. Blessings. Uh, you take care of chicken legs. I think you have a busy, busy day. And this was 90 minutes ago. People were logging on and making some few comments. Really appreciate that. Uh, Mikey says, um, good to see you, brother. Yeah, the chicken legs. You, the two of them always have a fun conversation, you know, and uh, I'd love to get hooked up in that conversation. But uh, you guys seem like you have a good time. I hope you two get to meet someday. Yes, yeah, sooner, guys. Sooner than later. Michael, yeah, hey, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to uh, from happy Janet. Happy Sunday to you, Michael. Michael's on his way to the Philippines soon. Yes. Three hour live stream. Yeah, three hours today. Uh, there's some reasons behind it, and uh, I won't get into it right here. Uh, Florida Gator. T minus 21. It sounds like you're used to NASA and the countdown to the rocket ships taking off. But remember, they always can pause the countdown. She'll be back. Hey, Charles, good morning. Uh, chicken legs with the first comment. So many scams out there. What? Where shall we start, guys? A known caller, I don't recognize, block it, emails from companies. Yeah, and that's all nothing to do with a girl in the Philippines. I believe in the U.S. the scamming is so, so great. You know that, um, oh, there was a scam where I was getting phone calls and many people get a call. Uh, you're under investigation for fraud. You need to call the IRS and they give you a number to call. And when you call it, they want to know all your information or Social Security. Yeah, they don't identify themselves as a federal agent and all that is always a scam you know if the government comes and they want information from you or about you they're going to uh, let you know it's them you know they'll come knocking on your door send you a certified letter uh, good morning mike and janet mike and mike c in the philippines he's back in manila and uh, him and Rose are excited to see what you have today. Wow. I I think it's pretty good. You know, I did a, a video last night. Nobody watched, of course. And it's about thinking you're getting scammed. And where you have to make a decision uh, about it. And if when in doubt, if you're talking to somebody and you think it might be or might not be, when in doubt, uh, get the hell out. That's That's my new term for... Uh, people who contact me about potential scams. 
All right, guys, we'll start this now. Today, we're going to talk about scams and uh, potential scams. And that's scams in your home country. It's scams here in the Philippines. And it's scams online. As, a, as an older guy, and you're you're talking to girls online, which nothing wrong with that, man. The pretty face in the morning when you wake up, you click on your cell phone or your laptop, and there's that smiling, pretty face. She wants to talk to you. And um, is she for real? Is she scam? That's for you to decide, man. You know, you have to really look, look at the girl, look at the situation, uh, look at the emails you receive from companies. Same thing. You have to decide if they're real or not. And the chances are the vast majority are not real. You know, serious, serious people uh, in business aren't sending you a bunch of spam type emails. Serious people in business, IRS, Social Security, your bank, uh, they're not going to just send you an email or call you on the phone and ask for your password or for your Social Security number or your bank account information because they already have that. Why do they need that? You know, when Social Security wants to get hold of you and for some reason they have a letter to you or they email you, uh, they already know who you are. They don't want any information from you. Uh, they might be missing, uh, a, you know, some tax records or update something, you know, phone number or maybe even your email address. Uh, but they don't need your social security number. They already know that. Your bank doesn't need to know your passwords because they can get into your bank accounts uh, and check them without your password. If they're a legitimate banker, you know, and they, they're with the bank. The credit card company doesn't need to know the three digits on the back of your card to check your account to verify fraud or not. You know, you have to give that at the merchant, maybe. Maybe when you buy something online to verify that you have the card, you know, that's front of the card information and back of the card information. But be careful who you give information to and be very, very careful if the call's coming to you. Now, if you call, your bank or social security. Yeah, you might have to answer a few questions because they want to verify who you are, but you're making the call. You know the number that you reached. But when it comes to scamming online, and it's not just girls overseas scamming guys online. You know, there's girls in the U.S. that are going to scam you. There's girls, um, you know, on uh, Plenty of Fish and all the different dating sites. Um, in the U.S., and they're going to try and scam you. Some of them do the dinner scam. We've talked about that so many times. Have a dinner, um, you know, they just, they order expensive food. They never really care about you too much. They're not interested in you and your life, but they're but they're interested in uh, what they can have for dessert. You know, they want that cocktail at the beginning of dinner. They want that appetizer, um, an expensive appetizer. They want the the surf and turf you know and and then when that's done they want an after dinner drink uh, maybe coffee some fancy dessert and a to-go bag you know so careful of these girls who want to date you uh, and the first date is at a fancy restaurant and uh, you know these are just dinner dates There's, i don't know the correct term for these but i went on so many of those where they were just interested in going out and having dinner and they were contacting so many different men just to get a free meal at a nice restaurant that they could not afford and they really had no interest in a long-term relationship with anybody uh and nobody really had an interest in a long-term relationship with them because a bad person in the long run it comes out it comes out and uh you need to understand where these relationships are going sometimes I'm going today. I'm going to skip around a little bit and hi and thanks to everybody. I really want you guys to comment on the subject at hand, if at all possible. And, uh, you know, we'll stop by and say hello to different people as as they pop up uh, short load and uh, Mike D. And of course, there was Jude K. Uh, Jude K is in the house. Jude K is a good friend of Janet. He's always on Janet's channel also. And a lot of good, a lot of members here. We have a lot of 
subscribers already on the channel. We got 89 in the house. This is also being broadcast on Janet's channel. So if you guys want to click over to uh, Philippine Life with Janet and watch it there, you're more than welcome. Uh, let's see here. Good morning, Mike and Janet. Congratulations on the new place. Um, let's see here. Hi, Mike. Recommended good uh, service to make and receive calls, including text for banks use. Thanks a million. Man, I don't have a good phone plan. And, you know, a lot of people tell me, you know, uh, Verizon has one, uh, T-Mobile. They all have different plans for being overseas here where the, where the cost is less. But uh, I, I don't have a good phone plan at all. Not at all. So on to the subject on the scams. You know, the a lot of guys with these girls online and the girls online the one thing i realized in my whole life uh dealing with scams from 2015 is when i the first overseas uh girl i talked to 2015 prior to that it was in the u.s and you know online stuff started i'm going to say around you know 97 2000 i remember meeting a girl on uh, yahoo um chat you know, and I want the Yahoo things. And uh, it's it's really exploded into the 2010, 2013, 2015 uh, with all these dating sites that are on there and the ability for you to get involved with someone online at, that's far away. And I got involved with one girl that was in Cincinnati and she was really cute. You know, she wasn't really young, you know, at the time, uh, you know, I was uh, much younger. And she she was about my age, a little bit younger. I flew her to Las Vegas. You know, hey, come on up for a week. Come see beautiful Las Vegas. Excited to come. Got on the plane, came up. We had a great week. Uh, but it, it was just a slow suck. You know, it wasn't like I need a lot of money. I need a lot of this. I just, I need a ticket. And one time she missed the plane and, you know, and get a rebook to fly in a hotel room. And I don't think she ever left her house. Um, so all these little scams that people pull everywhere, everywhere. If a girl finds a guy with a good heart who shows a big interest in him and the woman is not sincere, this woman's going to take advantage of her and she's going to deceive him and she's going to fraud him with information and try to separate him from his money, try to get as much from him as possible. And the thing with American women is not always the cash. You know, they're not they're not always looking for the cash. They're looking for items. You're going to buy them some jewelry, an expensive purse, some luggage. You know, you might, you know, you, you might buy a, a, a gold necklace and diamond earrings for or something. You're going to lavish her with gifts. And that's what American women seem to be more interested in when they take advantage of a, an older man is gifts, vacations. You know, maybe a car. You know, I've read many stories of a guy who's bought a woman a car. A, a Western woman, when she goes to scam you, she's going to get more from you than any Filipino would, any Phil, Filipino would ever get from you, because their eyes are bigger. You know, the dollar signs are larger back home. You know, that little bit of something, something. Things cost more, and they know what things cost, and they're closer. And and you think because they're close by. It's not a scam, but but they're scamming you. You know, they they might have a boyfriend in the other room. They might they might have two or three of you guys that they're uh, seeing and dating on separate days. You know, availability of the women for either communicating with you or visiting with you shows you that there might be more than one guy involved. Because when a woman really cares about you, she's going to be available to you as often as possible, and that's going to be because. She just wants to get to know you and be around you. And a good good dating relationship or a good relationship that you build in your home country is based on a lot of seeing each other and spending time together. You each might have a career. You each might have different family obligations. You know, maybe she's still raising children, maybe not. But uh, you'll feel that she's really interested in you and caring about you and your situation. 
when you talk with a girl overseas, be it, be it someone here in the Philippines, Thailand, wherever, wherever they are, it's a different situation. You are so many miles away. The verification process is so, so ridiculous for you to verify. The only way you can verify is a video chat. And the video chats are hard to uh, coordinate sometimes because of the time difference, you know? So if you find that you're on a strict schedule with a girl, this is what I found. She can only talk with you, you know, for a two hour period in the day, um, for many different reasons, maybe she has a job or whatever she tells you, but chances are that's when the husband or the boyfriend leaves to go to work, or that's the time he's gone every day, or they, or he knows to leave the house for those two or three hours, uh, or she has another video chat after that, and another one after that, and another one after that. A good relationship, a, a person who cares for you, is going to be available many different hours of the day and often. Doesn't mean you have to talk all the time but their availability, they must be available. And if a woman becomes unavailable too often, there's usually a reason behind it. And the reason is usually a relationship or a family situation. Kuya flipped a blue mule. Good morning to you. We got 123 in the house. Everybody hit the like button. Everybody please subscribe. Uh, good morning from Una, I hope I said that right. Jeffrey, Warren uh, works good. Okay, Holy Fly, but data only. Okay. Like I said, I don't know a good phone plan for dealing with the banks in the U.S. That's that's the number one thing you need to have is a phone plan that you can deal with your banks. Uh, Ice Cream Man, thank you. My first official live stream. I beat chicken legs in the group. All right, Florida Gator. We give awards out to the first one in the house. Uh, hello, Mike and Janet. <laughs> God bless you both from Kuya Bear. Thank you, sir. Yes, yes. Kuya Philip and the Blue. Hello to you. And there's Janet's in the house. I'm here, guys, just preparing for this is the sweet barbecue in snack. Here it is. It's 7.20 in the morning. All you single guys out there, all you single guys who are going to come to the Philippines, okay? Look at this rough life I have. Yes, I maybe I overpay for the rent, but we live in a very nice place now. Very comfortable. Janet's up at 5 a.m. She gets on her motorbike. She goes, I'm going to say it's about five miles from here up to Valencia Market, and she goes shopping at the market at 5, 6 a.m. Then she comes home. She has everything that I wanted. She bought avocados. She bought papaya. She bought some bread. She bought some bakery. And now she got home, right? Helps me get the live stream set up. Looking nice, you know, that's her dumpy look. You know, um, sort of like a sweatpants type outfit and a t-shirt and a hat and her hair. But she still looks good. Preparing for the afternoon meal at 7.20 in the morning. Her son's still sleeping. And when he gets up, she has the rice ready and his breakfast is cooking. She is just doing it. And this is what you're going to expect from any girl that you get that's really committed to you. And, and what people say, things are transactional. You know, they say you're being scammed. You're being used for your money. Some things are, they are transactional. They, they are. I pay the bills. And Janet does the housework. She does what she can. She is incapable of going out and making $1,000 a month. She can't. There's no job here she can get where she's going to make $200 plus dollars per week working. And if she did, she would be gone all day, most of the evening. It'd be a 12 hour a day job, living situation, um, a lot of traveling. And so it, it's a long day. So you have to decide, yeah, I financially can support my family. If it's you alone, you and a girlfriend, you and a wife, you and a wife and, and children, you decide that. It's, it's, it's not 
a negative evil thing that it's transactional it's not it's your job as a man to pay the bills here in the philippines this is a traditional uh type of life here in the philippines that i enjoy i enjoy the responsibility of being the man of the house taking care of the problems you know talking to the landlord if there's a issue with something handling it but the day-to-day -day operations of the house and the food and shopping i do that with janet i go shopping with her and all that. but that's her job and she enjoys that job and when you find the right girl and she'll do those things with a smile be happy that's her job and she's happy about her job you found the right person you know because she wouldn't do it for you if she didn't care for you you know she'll go clean her mom's house if she didn't care for me so you have to find peace is after you find a good relationship now you can come here single play the field have a great time island hop ride around on a motorcycle from one island to another uh, enjoy all the different cities meet different people meet different young ladies all that is good there's nothing wrong with all that but at some point in your life you're going to want to settle down and when you go to settle down i hope you're as blessed as i am in finding the right one You waited for five hours. Wow. Florida Gator. Five hours. Become a channel member, Florida Gator. Jack. I don't know who Florida Gator is. They waited five hours to come on, Jack. Wow, a new new viewer. Chicken legs for local mayor. I don't think so. Good morning, Mike and Janet. Turbo Chris. Chris, hello to you. And Rick. Let Rick Patrick. Oh, my mic, my mic is slipping down. <laughs> Michael John, he's going to be here on the 16th. Yeah, I know it's close. Yeah. On the 16th, we'll be, I think we're headed up to Elo Elo. I, so Charles coming here. Yes. We need Ted. Ted works. I, I messaged Ted and he's he's working. I'm going to have to do a live stream when I know he's home. Uh, we need Ted. It could have been the Three Stooges. I got different words for that, not three stooges. Well, Mr. Sawbox, hell, and I know there'll be an O later. Hello, how you doing? Chicken legs. Oh, he's back. Did he ever leave? Did you guys see the I, I ran launch over 100? Yes, that's the big news this morning. And I'm going to, you know, when I was watching that, I'm correlating how everybody's saying Iran doesn't really want to have, and I'll go into my political rant, how Iran doesn't want to really have a conflict with the U.S. right now. You know, the the U.S. knows where all the targets are in Iran. They've have, they had them all locked and loaded for, for years. And, uh, but here's this thing of saving face. You know, Israel attacked their embassy somewhere, didn't they? And if I'm wrong, tell me, but I think they attacked their embassy and the government has to do something just like the American government would have to do something. They have to retaliate. They have to do something of equal response, you know, not not respond too harsh, but not too little. And they have to make the people of their own country, Iranians, uh, satisfied with their government that the government will protect them. And uh I think this is a little bit of saving face. They know these uh, drones, not too many of them are going to get in. Uh, I heard the U.S. and the, the British uh, were already shooting them down over Syria. Uh, and that Iron Dome, that Iron Dome that Israel has is very uh, is, is a very good system for shooting all this stuff down. So I don't see many of them getting through. It's a war zone. But that's the thing is saving face. When you punch somebody, you expect to get punched back sometimes. And uh, let's hope cooler heads prevail and this calms down and we can go back to living a normal life. Did we get the Wi-Fi? Yes, because we're online and we just got the Wi-Fi. When did we get the Wi-Fi? Friday night? Friday afternoon. We got it Friday afternoon. They've got hooked up. 
Yes, Iran, Iran, Iran is yeah, attacking Israel with drones and missiles. Uh, retired U.S. Navy, how you doing there? Mike, I have a few scams I have heard quite a bit. Uh, yeah, there's many scams out there. I got a big list here. A three-hour live stream. You guys are rocking it. Well, we're only on the first half hour. Got 157 in the house. Uh, <laughs> Matt Richardson from Florida saw a video of World Zoom today. He is being held in. Yeah, we all. Yes, yes, he is. Um, here, the, the thing on wor World Zoom. I really don't think Paul is wanted in the U.S. I really don't. One, they've been holding him for a long time, and if the U.S. wanted him, he would have been on the next plane out. You know, uh, he he was in the U.S. the early part of this year, and I think he was trying to expunge uh, some of his felony convictions. You know, trying to get those off his record because he knows it's going to hamper his future life in Asia. So he's doing the best he can to to have those expunged. Expunged. The U.S. let him. He went back to the U.S. He passed immigration. He showed him his passport. Uh, they didn't arrest him. They let him in. And then when he was in the U.S. and he went to court uh, to try to get these things expunged, um, to get his felony convictions expunged, they didn't arrest him. They, he has his passport. He left the country. He got into the Philippines again. I think it might be just a matter of the record popped up of him having a felony warrant, maybe a an old warrant that never got erased off the system here in the Philippines, or the Philippine government has just decided um, he has too many convictions uh, to stay. You know, it's their right who they let into the country and who they don't. So uh, we'll let this play out. Paul, as a person, I don't know Paul. I wouldn't give Paul to invest money in. I wouldn't give Mark. Uh, money to invest either you know i don't want no part of a cruise ship but as people they're not that bad of people you know they're not they're not the worst people in the world and there's much much more people there's many many more people here in the philippines who are worse character than these two and uh, let's hope all this gets settled out he can go about his life and and enjoy his life uh, he's already paid the price and uh, he's done everything the U.S. courts have told him to do that we know about, that we really know about, because we really don't know nothing other than he was arrested and he's in a Bureau of Immigration holding cell. And uh, that's all we know so far. I know I got two messages, one from somebody who chats with Sheila, his, his girlfriend, and she is there in Cebu and she visits him and he has a lawyer. The other person I uh, in contact with is an attorney who told me about him being there in January trying to get his records expunged. And um, so he had a date in the court and they didn't arrest him. So I don't believe there's any arrest warrant out there. Uh, his restitution, you know, he has an agreement with IRS um, on paying back taxes and paying his restitution. I'm sure he, he, he stays with that. And even if you fall a little bit behind, uh, it's a phone call to, you know, to get caught back up again. Nobody wants to put you in jail just because you missed a loan payment or uh, a court-ordered payment. If you ignore the court, yes. But if you're behind or you don't have the money, a phone call or a letter to the court usually can get things extended. But that's just, theory, you know, I, I'm just my opinion on the matter. But Paul, I hope I hope he gets out and he keeps hanging in there in the Philippines and enjoys his life. Dickie Spatz, I'm watching from the Iron Dome do do its job. It's it's crazy. All right. Oh, you're watching the Iron Dome. Yeah, that that system they have. It's a layered system in Israel for shooting down missiles and rockets. Very few ever get through. Good morning, David. Birthday scam. Yes, yes, yes. Today is their birthday. Can I send them a gift? One girl asked me for 100 so she could have a birthday party with friends and family. 
you know, when when you meet a girl online, not only is she going to have a birthday, her children are going to have a birthday, her mom and dad are going to have a birthday, and they're they're all. And the simplest thing they'll ask for is, can you help us buy the cake? You know, can you help us buy the cake? And you know, cake is um, how much is a cake? How to get that? Under a thousand, under a thousand pesos, under a thousand pesos. So you can get cakes cheap and good cakes here in the Philippines cheap, and they give you a candle, you know. So yeah, everybody has a birthday. I need this. And the funny thing is, if you look on their Facebook, sometimes you know, if you look under their personal information, they'll have their birthday. And their birth date is different. And they'll say, oh, I, I put it in wrong. They might have six birthdays a year. The birthday scam, all these different things. Sometimes I wonder if they teach it in school. You know, the broken phone, the I need load, uh, the birthday scam. Uh, my, my dad's in the hospital. My grandmother died. It seems like it's the same thing over and over and over again. Yeah, the birthday scam is good. You're lucky she doesn't want a pig. Sometimes they say, hey, huh, can you pay for this party? I need 30K. I need to buy a leech on. I need to buy, you know, a 12 kilo pig. And I need to, uh, you know, uh, hire the karaoke, rent the karaoke and entertainment and, you know, all this stuff. And 30, and they need 30K for that. And it's just such a large sum of money for a birthday party. It's a large sum of money for a birthday party. Trouble is you're not invited. Everybody's watching the Iron Dome. I have competition today. The war in Israel and Iraq, Iran. Live feed on YouTube. Yeah, never seen, uh, never send money, period. Yes, yes, yes. People say that. Don't send money, period. It's the best advice you can ever get. But if you're like me and you're soft touch, you're going to end up sending money and uh you know you're working i don't know what everybody makes that but when i was working yeah you know, i was taking home over a grand of, a week so for me to send somebody a hundred bucks once a month it, it was no big deal i spent more than that on a slot machine you know going into walmart but yes until you meet in person never send money scam 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 scams your adult it's your choice be scammed or not like you said when in doubt get out yes rick's right here guys you know is it is it really a scam you know a scam are they stealing money from you or are you willing to give them this money are you willing participant and remember once you start giving money you're all of a sudden an easy mark you know, instead of them working to get money, to get something, saving their money to, to buy something, oh, I'll just ask Mike. Mike has, Mike's rich. He'll send money. And, you know, it's such a trivial thing for us to think, a motorcycle tire. And I'll tell you the story of a uh, girl I was online with that was uh, living in Northern Behold. And she would have to go to the top of this mountain to talk because the the signal was so bad and she would show me on the phone all these people sitting around all on their phones because they can get a good signal there well her brother walked up said hey mike and then she told me the brother needed a tire for his motorbike to go back down to pangalau his tire was bad so i asked how much is the tire and I feel bad because he's been nice to me. He sends me messages. Mike, how are you? Uh, everything's great. Uh, you know, my sister misses you. And, you know, just nice messages to you. And they told me the, the tire is 4K. So I send the 80 bucks. When I'm here in the Philippines, and I needed a tire for my NMAX on the back, the tire, the labor, the oil change and everything was only 2K. So, yeah, not only do they need something, but they inflate the price because they're 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 in that negotiating mood. You're going to say, four K. Uh, I can only afford to send you two K, and in their mind, that's plenty. That's more money than they had 
at the start of the day. So they come and, you know, they're just happy, but they always have a reason that they need money. And a soft touch is a soft touch. They don't really ask for, you know, $1,000 or $500. They ask, they ask little bits here and there where the fees sometimes is more than the amount of money they want. Want money for food. Janet wants money for food. Janet says, send me money. Never send money. Another another one there. But, you know, I know that you guys on here, there's guys here that have sent money. And it has happened. Good morning, Mike and Janet. This is Mark. Uh, I, have, I will have to find a way to give you some updates before I head to Manila next Sunday, then to the U.S. for a few days. All right, Mark. Uh, we can do a video chat. Mark's my golfing friend up in uh, Cebu. Yeah, corn, cornflake fam. Good morning to you. Benoit Thor. Good morning, Mike and Jana from California. How you doing, buddy? California. Hello from California. Exactly. Don't know everything about you, but they're trying to put it out there that you're okay to use it. I don't know anything about you, but they're just trying to put it out there to get you. you're okay to use it. Okay. Rick, I didn't understand that question. Much from Africa too. Yes. A lot of a lot of I'm gonna tell you, I get these Facebook requests. And then I get this beautiful blonde girl. Hello. On my messenger and then I, I i click on her facebook you know and and it's a picture of her and, and something but then i go to the friends and it's all these africans and i know the difference between uh american african american a black guy in the u.s or you know a black girl in the u.s or many countries but you can tell they're all african they have you know they have the African names, and when you click on them, you know their their home country is you know South Africa or wherever, and they're just scammers. They just use their own Facebook account. They put a new picture on there, and they're looking for you, and they're hoping you do don't do any research. And the amount that they're hiding is so little. So so many guys just jump on there, and it has to be working, or they wouldn't be doing it over and over and over again year after year. Somebody has to be sending them money. Hello, Mike and Janet. Congratulations on the new house. Janet looks so beautiful. Mike, you're a lucky man. Thank you, Michael. I am. Yep. Yeah. Go now. Uh oh, hello, Kitty Mike. Kuya Flip and the Blue Mule scam is a female thing. Disagree. Disagree. A lot, a lot of the scams coming from here. Our, our lady boards, our lady boards, you know, they're, they're hiding behind photos and they're, you know, they're using other different people's photos. And when they do a video chat, you know, the lighting is bad, like, like I have, and you can't really see and tell, or they'll tell you, oh, it's nighttime and we save our electricity. I don't, I can't turn on the light. They're there and they're very persuasive and they're very aggressive. The lady boys over a girl. Uh, a straight up female uh, is is a little bit more subtle. Where lady boy or gay guy is much more aggressive. You know that if you don't send it right away, they're going to get angry and call you names. Where a woman would say, "I understand, sir. I understand." So yes, it's a female thing. You know, I knew a, a lady back in the states, an older woman who was scammed by uh, somebody who said they were in the service. And they were stuck and they couldn't move all their stuff and they couldn't, couldn't leave. They were discharged and they were stuck in a foreign country. And she ended up sending them like 20,000 US. And then, you know, that was a scamming syndicate. You know, people prying on very old, elderly, lonely people. And that's what they, people try to get. The older you are, uh, the more lonely you are and the more alone you are. Uh, the more likely you are to sit there and talk to somebody because uh, 
you just won't talk. And I remember on American Greed, you know that TV show, American Greed? They talk about a bunch of different things. One was about the Jamaican scammers. You know, the, the, it's just a whole syndicate thing. They have they have a, a series of questions and they have an answer for every possible question. And this lady got scammed out of so much money and her family intervened and uh, the authorities came. They, they tracked down the scammer. They, you know, tried to get her money back uh, on, on this TV show, American Greed. But the last interview with the lady was, I so do miss talking to him, the scammer. I wish he would call me again. So it isn't the money because at some point of your life, some point of some people's life, money's not important. What's important is having someone to talk to, someone to be with. And that's why it's very important when you come to the Philippines or you stay home, you keep some sort of network of friends. You know, as you get older, you know, when you get into your 70s and your 80s and get involved with the church, uh, get involved with, with uh, a neighborhood a group, a community group of uh, older people, you know, where they go do exercises, you know, senior citizen exercise type of thing. Don't think it's degrading because it's a quote senior citizen thing. Seniors like uh, we have different needs than, you know, teenagers uh, and when they go to the community group. So have friends, have someone you can talk to. And you, you used to go to McDonald's in the morning. Yeah, McDonald's would open up. You'd get a cup of coffee, and McDonald's had the paper there. You'd read the paper. You'd talk to some to some friends, and you would stay active and not lonely all the time. If you're sitting at home on your computer and talking to people on Facebook and scammers, uh, one's going to get you. One's going to get you because they're going to touch your heart. They're going to find the soft touch in you, and you're going to help them out. You're thinking man, I'm helping you. I'm, I'm doing a good thing helping you. And, you know, I call it doing the right thing for the wrong person. Hey, Mike and Jan, hope all goes well. Great new home. Thank you. Unknown thoughts. Yeah, th this is a good place here. We like it. Exactly. They know everything about you. They're just trying to get you to give them permission to use that. If Yes, that's the phone people who call you in the U.S. nonstop, man. You know, you, you get a new cell phone and you get the service. Next thing you know, all these people have your number and you haven't even given it out to anybody yet. And everybody sells your information. That That's what's terrible. Chicken legs in the house. Chicken in the house. Hello to Brent. Hey, Brent. Bar girl, a big no-no. Some will pop a pill in your drink. You're not looking. <laughs> you have big broke in the beers. Here's here's one of the things that the bar girl said. And you won't eat and you won't even know this. She she does everything you want. You 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 meet her, you get permission, you leave with her, you take her to your hotel, and you do the dirty nasty. And while you're in the bathroom or in the shower, she opens your wallet. She doesn't steal none. She takes a picture of your credit cards front and back. Mm -hmm. Front and back. Now, in your wallet, are you all your credit cards, your debit, your money? You think, man, I didn't get robbed there. I'm good, right? But she's got all your credit card information. And they go and they start making some purchases. And before you know it, the purchases have already been made. And because you have your card, you didn't report it stolen. Hopefully, your, your bank will notify you of, of charges. But a lot of times uh, they don't because the charges are smaller and they go, you know, they'll buy something small in one store than something big. And then they'll do a cash thing. So uh, they know how to get money out of the credit cards once they got all that information. But they don't physically steal your card. They, they just take a picture of the front and back. I, I steal you? <laughs> yeah, you steal mine. Why? You steal my cards? Yeah, but I just buy you. Yeah. Our food. <laughs> Why my food? <laughs> she has kosh. Yeah. Let's see. I've been watching. Let's see. Uh, Pinoy Thor. Pinoy Thor. Good morning, Mike. I love your videos. Been watching your channel for over a year. 
Love your honesty and content. Well, thank you very thank much. You. Very much appreciated. Uh, being scammed is a male thing. Men get scammed. Women get scammed, too. Foreigners scam Filipinos a lot. And the scam is not for their money, but the but for their affection and for their nudity. You know, how many guys have made promises to girls online? Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this just to get new pictures of the girl. And I don't know if that's an ego thing because you can go on Pornhub and see all the naked women you want. But for some reason, somebody you're talking to, if you can convince them to get naked for you, it, it's it's a big turn on for you. For not you personally, but for some guys. And there's guys that come over here and they promise the girl everything. And then they, they ghost them and they just leave them. And uh, there's many women here that are pregnant by foreigners who ended up ghosting them and such. So scams go both ways, both ways. But because we're who we are, we're older men looking to come here to the <laughs> Philippines, looking to retire. Um, we're going to talk more about the scams that affect us than uh, scams that affect other people. Congratulations, new house, uh, a lot more space for you guys. It's uh, The outside is a ton more space. Yeah. The inside is smaller, uh, less rooms, but it's more cozy. You know, as you can see, it's, it's you know, we have this one big room and then the bedrooms. It's, we'll work through the problems, but it's. Uh, we I, just have many stuff. The one of the big things is we moved here. Uh, I was worried about when rainy season comes and riding my motorbike in the rainy season yeah. and where we were living before uh, trikes were not readily available. You'd have to walk quite a way down the road or, uh, you know, wait a long time for a trike here. There, it's just a couple minutes away or all the trikes and cheap knees that we need. So if it's rainy or we got some big packages or we're going to go grocery shopping, we're going to have more than we can uh, carry on the bike. We can just get on a trike, 20 pesos each, and, and go into the town. So I don't have the need to buy a car uh, for this rainy season. Rick, howdy, Mike. How you doing? Car salesmen and lawyers are huge scam artists. <laughs> they're, they're everywhere, man. Every... every, every uh, profession has scams. Scammers, ignore them, but you have to identify them first. Chicken legs, hey, thank you so much. Hey to you, chicken legs. Shout out to you, chicken legs. Thank you for the super chat you give us. This is another grocery for the market. <laughs> Not a scam. I am a real chicken legs. Fuck, fuck. Glad to see you two in your new home. Blessings. Thank you so much, Chicken Legs. Thank you so much. Um, you've been around these live streams for a long time. We really appreciate yes. that. Chicken Legs is always supporting us. Thank yeah, you thank so you. much. 213 in the house. Wow. Thank you so much. I hope we get all the likes and subscribes. Really, really appreciate that. Please, everybody subscribe, like, if any of you are interested in joining the, as a channel membership, I'm putting out a series of step one, two, three of what you should do to prepare to come here to the Philippines. And that's going to be on the channel members. The first one's going up tonight. And uh, it's 99 cents from the U.S. to join per month. And uh, there's going to be a lot of good information on there. I have information right now on there about um, I post the one. You know, virtual mailbox is one of the first things that you should get done. But also, I have down in the description, I have a link to that, my website. I've been doing a lot of consultations lately. And if uh, anybody's interested mm -hmm. in a private talk and uh, follow up, just click on the website and uh, contact me there. I also put a link to the video where I talk about how badly I was scammed for all those who haven't watched it yet. No food, they haven't had anything to eat today. Can you send me some money for a bag of rice? 
I know they say that all the time. Even Janet says that. Bag of rice. You know, Filipino love. A life bag is in, rice. A life is, yeah, we have no, I haven't eaten today. Was, um, I remember when, when I was back home, the one big thing was always popping up was I need milk for the baby. You know, they'll be holding a little baby. Um, there's no milk here for the baby. And can you send some money? And they ask you, you know, you ask them how much is milk? And they tell you, uh, you know, 150 pesos. Well, you can't send 150 pesos. It's just too small amount. So you end up sending them a thousand pesos, a couple thousand. And then when you're sitting there and you look at the fees, you go, man, let me just send her enough for the month so I don't have to keep paying all these fees. And so you send more than they ask for. And it doesn't last a month. Uh, you know, next week they need it. And uh, the worst part is when you talk to somebody and you do like them and you decide, I'm going to send, send you $100 every month while we're talking. And it's not a lot. And you're hoping they would pay for their load. They would buy their food. They wouldn't bother you for other things. You just send them once a month for their budget and what to do. First month, it's okay. Second month, it's okay. Third month, it's not enough. Fourth month, they need more. Then they slowly, slowly building it up and up. And then at some point, if it's a pure scammer, they're going to hit you up for a big one one time big one that you would send that and then uh you know if if you fall out of favor you fall out of favor but they'll take the chance but they'll, they'll condition you that they're real and they're using the money you know the baby's milk they, they breastfeed when it's a small baby and you know the only time they wouldn't be breastfeeding is if they had a job maybe and but a sack of rice, how much is rice now? 60 pesos, 65 pesos a kilo? By per kilo? Five, yes, how, much, how much is a 10 kilo bag? Almost 600. So 60 600, pesos. yeah, no. About 60 pesos a kilo. So a 10 kilo bag is 600 pesos, which is about $11. So a 100 peso bag would be, you know, about, about 100 bucks for, for a 100 kilo uh, uh, bag of rice and 10 kilos last us how long for us yeah. no not for one good for one month not almost for so family three almost three weeks 10 yes. kilos for about three weeks so that's a family of three and we you know the boy eats a lot he changed. he's hungry <laughs> and the dogs eat it the dogs eat the rice too yeah i did not buy for the dog food so expensive for me, online started in 1989. That had to be with Yahoo. Yeah. Yahoo! I remember yeah, that. Yahoo. Yeah, before it's the Yahoo. Yeah. Good evening. Hey, Howard. Hey, uh, Howard. How are you? Every time I talk to Filipina, they ask for money within a few minutes. You know, I think those are the good ones. Because those are the ones, you know, yeah, I'll finish this conversation with you. But when it's over, I'm not sending you nothing. and uh, I'm I'm moving on to the next one. They make it easy. It's the ones that string you along and then slowly. Those are the smart ones. I know Howard is searching. Everybody's searching. <laughs> they ask for money of, for school supplies. Well, if they, they're going to school and they need school That's supplies. Good. You should should not be talking to them. Sad to see what's going on in the Middle East. Yeah, let's pray for peace. We, you know, there's so much going on everywhere in the world right now. It's it's just, I think a lot of countries are trying to take advantage of the U.S. in their weak in our weak condition because uh, we have a divided country right now. You know, the uh, it's fifty fifty. You know, half our you know like I don't know what left from right, but half are like the Trump side and half are on the Biden side. And it's 50-50, and it's an easy time because our Congress is not strong, our Senate is not strong, and uh, it's just a. It just seems like they're testing the boundaries of uh, of the U.S. right now. Hopefully, after the election, uh, the country pulls together and we show more strength. It's the election day. Uh, November. Oh, Manny, see hello. See. In the house. 
Think with the head on your shoulders, not the other one down there. That's right, chicken legs. <laughs> Mike, I just got scammed two weeks ago for 50,000 pesos from Filipina on the dating website. I learned my lesson and in, a, in the minute and start talking about money, I start losing interest. Yes, the minute they start talking money. Mm -hmm. All the guys that I know who are in a solid relationship where they met the girl online. Gary um, and Jing. Yeah. They met online. Jing never asked him for a penny. Yeah, she's working there. She's working. She didn't ask for no money. Yeah, she could use more money. It's not like she was making a lot of money, but she never asked him for money. She was more concerned with him and his health. Many of these guys I talk to who have a good uh, relationship now and they met online, it's the same thing. The conversation started and there's many, many days, months of talking where money was not an issue. And then maybe later on, you started to send a little bit, but there was never the continuing gouging of money and money. It, it was more that they were in a relationship and they were working towards getting you here to live with them. And then they were interested in getting your money here. They wanted you, not your money. Yes, they started asking for money, move on. One. I got girl used all the crying emojis like these saying the landlord said he needed the rent right now or out they go. They go. You know, there, there's a song. I forget the song. Uh, uh, I, I always drink alone and uh, the landlady needed the rent or out, or out you go if she doesn't end by Friday. Her problem was her problem. You know, the you're not there to meet someone online and solve their problem the first day. You can't solve the problem. What would she have done if she didn't talk to you ahead of time? You know, if she, if she didn't meet you, what would she do? Is she just trying so many different people? Uh, I don't think so. Because the first thing, if they didn't have rent, they would lose their internet and Wi-Fi and phone service. They would let all that go first to pay their rent. So, yeah. Uh, Right off the bat, they're just asking. They're they're doing what I call the quick hit. They're asking a hundred different guys the same question, and if they can get two or three to say yes, home run, home run. They're playing a numbers game. You know, it's like going to the racetrack, and there's it's a ten horse field, and you bet nine of them. You know, you just hope they have, you know one of them got to win. You know, you hope one of them wins. see ramis food and travel tales sounds like a website or a youtube ramis channel food. mr mike possible to edit youtube videos with iphone pro max 13 i think you can but i don't i don't I'm, i don't know the iphone 13 yeah i don't know the iphone 13 we have the 14 pro max on my youtube channel um become a member and I'm diving into, since I have my home base now, I can do 10 videos in, in, in a day now. Um, I have a whole list of videos I'm going to make for YouTube for Dummies. And we're going to talk about editing and starting up and how often you should post. I've done a lot of experiments on my channel uh, that I want to share with uh, potential bloggers. Uh, but it's a different level of the membership. Uh, but no, the iPhone 13 Pro, I don't know. Best thing to do is go on YouTube and click editing with the uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max. I'm sure somebody made a video. Uh, you want a gift? <laughs> you want a gift? We can ship it to you. I always like the one is you you won $10,000, but you send us 1000 and we'll release the money to you. Well, if I want ten, you keep two thousand. Send me the eight. You know, you can't believe that stuff. And there's a, a scam. Men are pulling on women, and I'm not saying American men. These could be from Africa. They could be from anywhere. They could be other Filipinos. They say there's a package for you, and we need payment of four hundred pesos, five hundred pesos, a thousand pesos to deliver the package. The taxes due on it. 
And the girl is thinking, wow, I just got spent. It's probably maybe there's a phone in it or a computer, a laptop, and they pay the, the fee uh, with GCash. And then when they go down to get it, it's just an empty box. So the scam goes both ways. But yeah, that, that scam where uh, you won the lottery, you won the million dollar lottery, but I need $3,000 for you to collect it. Keep half the money and send it to me. So Thor, that sucks. Yes, that that's sad. But it's, you know, it happens. I think it happens to more people who who realize. Do you realize? I think it happens to everybody. And sometimes we call them scams, and they're not scams. They're just us willing to send money to somebody we don't know. When you pay for load, do you think of that as a scam? But they can resell the load, so they get five hundred pesos a load from you they got 500 pesos a load from somebody else next thing you know they got 20,000 pesos that's 400 bucks and they sell it to their friends and family and they put 300 in their pocket so there's just different ways of scamming and different levels and uh you have to be really careful and we all fall victim because it's the one layer of trust you know i one guy I met, he said, Mike, you know how I know my girlfriend is honest? First night she spent the whole night with me, I left money on top of the dresser. And after I showered and we left and she got in the taxi, went home, I wouldn't count the, the money. It was all there. So I trust her. Well, that's the same thing with these little scams. You send her a little bit and you say, well, if she doesn't ask for more. I can trust her. You know, no, you don't know what their end game. Everybody, as they're more and more experienced at doing the scamming, uh, they're more and more experienced at a little bit at a time. They don't rush to process. And the people in the Philippines, you know how they all say, you got to have patience in the Philippines. Scammers have lots of patience. They have lots of patience. They don't need that money today, but they'll get it eventually. Keep the brains above the belt. Yes, Brent. <laughs> they asked for money for gas because she ran out on the highway. And after, that happened to Janet already before she met me. I've been around gas. I was just pulled my brother's motorbike. <laughs> but it's okay. I have a backup. Also, my sister, I would call my sister. Can you help me? <laughs> so they have family. You, you, you laugh. They have family that will come and help. And they can go to the sorry, sorry store and buy a a, a, a little bit of gas in a Coke yeah, bottle, right? Yes. They can buy gas in a Coke bottle. They don't have to spend 20 bucks to fill up the gas tank. You're talking about 50 pesos, 100 pesos max. And, and they're good to go for days and days and days. And uh, they have a network to resupply each other. It's called their family and friends. Yeah. What if she gave you sex when you flew flew her out to Vegas, would that have been worthwhile? You know, what I gave said, well, I was hoping for the long-term relationship in that. Yes, sex was involved, lots of things. I was being, it was a transactional relationship. It was, it was. But for her, she had a boyfriend back in, in, in Ohio and used the money to fix their car. So, you know, all I'm saying is scammers are everywhere. Users, maybe that's a better word than scam. Users are everywhere. Got the like button and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything to hit the like button, guys. 218 in the house. Wow, so many women are actually pathetic. It's unreal, the stories that they come with come up with to try to milk your money yeah and it's milk money a lot of different stories and some of the stories are passed around and what it is and it's people like me too youtubers get on and we talk about scams and what scams work and all of a sudden this girl is watching oh i never tried that one let me try that let me try that one you know uh not so much the roof blew off the house, but, you know, I'm cooking with wood. I need a stove. 
or we're out of gas for the gas stove. You put in your pan in the room. <laughs> will be the trending today. <laughs> There's trending is it's so hot somewhere. Yeah. A guy put his pan on the concrete road and it got so hot in the sun, he cooked on it. And I've seen it in Arizona where they put a pan on the road and, and they fry an egg, you know, um, because it's so hot. But yeah, yeah. Laura and all scammers. Yeah. Uh, how do you say that one? Seamus? Meganus. Meganus. Hello, Hello from New Hampshire Seacoast stationed at Subic Point. Subic Point. It's in uh, Subic Bay in 76 to 79 for three years. Where are you from? Las Vegas, Nevada for the last 25 years before I came here. And she's from Ohio. Looking for a job. What are you doing after the show? <laughs> looking for i don't know dude. looking Maybe. for a job what are you doing after the show hello to you <laughs> let's are see you frank new? this is a retirement Spending. this is a retirement spending your time blobbing giving advice on life yeah frank yes. that's my retirement man i enjoy it i love it you jealous come on over and try it good morning from jersey usa you new jersey? serene self so like and subscribe, guys. Yes. To to be set free. Hello, that's a new one. Hello, yeah. how are you both? Great, great. I see a lot of people who have su subscribed. In the end, scammers never get away with it. Welcome to hell. Yes, what they lose is that solid relationship that they could have had with somebody who really cared for them. You know. Uh, in the long run, you would have given them much, much more than they could steal from you. Yeah. And karma is a bitch. Yes, it is. Hello, you all. Janet makes you look good. Joe from West. She sure does. Hello to you, Jessa. It's Saturday, 421. And California, USA. I'm only nine minutes behind. I'm not bad. <laughs> bad today yeah, mike do you think it might they might what be trying to scam you if you talk to you in chat uh, for like, for like 10, 10 minutes, minutes then video chat with you after then after 10, 10 for, they tell you that they have minutes. they've fallen in love you know something maybe they didn't fall in love with you but they fell in love with the idea of falling in love with you I've been falling in love you know with you. so yeah i too early to fall in love after 10 minutes, but they might after a couple of days. Yeah, I need to more couple of days. Two days. Janet took three days to fall in love with me. <laughs> so, so I need to learn the guy first. <laughs> so we were, we were in person. Guapa, Janet is a great Filipina. Mike, you got it good. Hello, chicken dress. I am. I am blessed. At least it gives you something to do. At to least it gives right. you something to do right. Yeah, it does. Howdy, Gee, JMR's man. desk. How you doing, buddy? Whoa. I'm going to the Philippines in June to meet a beautiful woman, but she is not very social. Any Maybe advice? Well, why why do you think she's mm, not? It's so hard. That I don't point. know what you mean, social. Janet's it's not. not being, I, I mean, not being social so she's much. She's not. You know. But. But you know, it need to. The lady want to. One on one is different, you know. Maybe you know, maybe she shy in parties and group. Mm -hmm. Could be her English, you know. She's shy with her English. Like it's easier to type in English than it is to speak it sometimes. And sometimes it's maybe she doesn't understand your words because you talk faster or you you have accent or something. The accent, yeah. Sometimes give, give her if she hasn't done anything wrong meet her beautiful woman meet her sit down talk to her about her you know what does she like to do what kind of foods does she like don't get too personal at first let her tell you about her personal life you know let her open up to you mm. is it normal for philippine women not to show emotion no way <laughs> they're very emotional Philippine women. I am. 
you are, but most are too, aren't they? Is your sister most old? Yeah, we are both. Emily? Yeah. Yeah. If I break <laughs> Yeah, they're very emotional, I think. You know, they're very emotional. I don't think a Filipina can have a dumpy look. A dumpy look. Okay, I don't want that. Then... Great channel. Well, definitely uh, are living the life. Uh, good for you and Janet. Great teamwork. Well, thank you. Yes, we're having a thank you. I'm Janet. having a great. I'm having a great time here. You know, dude. I'm I'm going to be seventy in a you know a few weeks from now. And I'm be the only 40, you know. <laughs> she's not even she'd be 33. But I'm having a great life. I'm living in a very comfortable place. Uh we're free to move about the city, the country. Uh, we can do whatever we want. And we're having a good time. She takes good care of me. And there's some ups and downs, you know, and uh uh far, far more ups. And when we go into the city and we go meet friends. We go meet subscribers, people like you who are here in Dumaguete. Uh, we have a very enjoyable time. Because of you guys, we are so happy. Because of you guys, we are so happy, she says. <laughs> Even relationships in Western country is transactional. If you don't think so, stop paying the bill and see how long they stay. It is transactional. Even in the early stages of marriage where you're both working, the transaction is that you're going to, you know, pay this portion of the bill or you're going to share. You work out something transactional for the money, you know, unless you put it all in one big pot and you take it out of there. But that's transactional also, if that's the case. We meet again, chicken legs. That he says. Hey, Mike and Janet just tuned in. And I hear you talking about a Filipina that is. Tak Tak Pinoy. What is Tak Tak Pinoy? Pin. Oh. Pinoy. Rudy G. Rudy G. Mike and Janet, God bless you both. Your new home from Texas. Thank you, Rudy G. Just getting everything ready to come over. Good, Joseph. See, when yes. you get here, Mike, I just retired two years ago. And my gross pension is nine thousand per month, and my net is a little over seven. Is that enough? You know something that, to me, the, no disrespect, but that's that, to me that's a silly question. Yes, of course it's enough. People are living here happily on two thousand five hundred, on mm -hmm. two thousand. Billy Goat, hey guy, shot off of Florida. My divorce um, is. On Monday. Wow. Uh, wish me luck. Good wish luck. luck Billy. Funny thing is, I didn't even know I was married. I was true life victim. Uh -huh. That's going to cost me. I don't stop. Also, be <laughs> how can you not know you're married? Uh, to me, that that is like, I don't know. I don't. Somebody passed the paper and you just signed it. <laughs> <laughs> Super sticker from Rudy G. Thank you, Rudy. Thank you, Rudy G, for the super sticker. He's from Texas. Team. Yeah, from Texas. Rudy G's been around watching the show for a long time. Yeah. Fred Thompson, I ran is attacking this. Yeah, yeah. I'm 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 up against stiff competition. Usually it's it's football, but uh now it's the a war in the Middle East. Why does Janet have to leave that early? Because she wants to, and she wants to be here for the the live stream, Janet just, that's what she does. And when I go uh, out. Before it's crowded, the market. Uh, yeah, because in the Valencia, it will be crowded. They'll sell out fast, the mm. uh, pastries, the breads, and the very good fruit. Everything will sell out fast up there. Everybody goes early and earlier yeah. and earlier. Because the mass deal will be done seven. Let's see, I drove 400 miles while waiting. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that five hours it was waiting yeah yeah five yeah question what happens when you are no longer there social security is it's not well it's not uh you have probably going your own kids grandchildren's from previous life i don't know when i'm gone what's going to happen that that is a good question man that is a good question something for us to look at and determine if you have some advice Shoot me some advice. Let's see. Net. 
Nanina Price. Nanina Price. Hello, how are you? Kevin Smith, well, she has to bring some value in the relationship, right? Well, they, they do. It doesn't have to be money. You know, there's other value in a relationship than money. Love your blog, watching you since the beginning, Randy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We're going on like one year and seven months doing this. Uh, start August. The end of August was our first video. We are at over five, well, we're way over five million views. I deleted a lot of videos, so would would have been about eight million, but officially five million views. Uh, just hitting 32,000 subscribers and we're doing pretty good and we appreciate all you guys watching. Um, good morning, the Philippines. Yes. I hope to get as lucky as you. Yes, Joseph, finding the uh, the right girl isn't that hard, but it has to be the right girl for you. Everybody, everybody has a different need and a different want in a girl. And the one thing people say is mike what do you and a young girl have to talk about what do you what do you and a younger girl have in common well what do you have in common with a 45 year old filipina you don't you're from the u.s you have a different history you have a different understanding of everything and a 45 year old filipina or a 30 year old filipina they'll have as much in common with you as either age group there's more chance a real young one in their early 20s is going to have more in common because they're more internet savvy. They've been watching the internet. They know American movies. They know uh, Western politics. Uh, you know, they, they're just more in the know with technology and such. The older women, not so much. They have a life to take care of. And, you know, they're helping their family, their children or whatever. Yes, my coffee is always cold. Do you want to put some hot? Thor, you'll live like a king on 9,400 a month. Let me think about that. <laughs> like, 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 guys. Like, 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 9,000. You're Not only are you going to live like a king, you can buy a crown and wear it. Yeah, I, put me here, guys. Yeah. No, that's plenty of money. All kidding aside. Good. Bless you and congratulations on getting your life in such good order that you have that type of retirement and uh, you'll enjoy your life here in the philippines good morning from luzon i am blessed to be with a philippine wife yes alan retired in the philippines for those of us who enjoy the philippines having a filipino wife is is great james uh california ho ho to you watching from illinois all right a Midwesterner. Wow, you have a big house now. It's it's not bigger, but it's it's nicer. It's more it's more simple, but we have a great yard. Uh, if you go to Janet's channel, she did a tour of the house, the yard, and we talked a little bit about the movie. That's um Filipino Life with Janet. Yes, guys, it's in my channel. Yes, yeah. Filipino with me with me with, with, Janet. with Janet. <laughs> hope janet's not cooking one of my friends mm. we we hit, we go to crispy king right up the road at the time we were moving always um, i love crispy king it's a little it's a franchise because they're all over the place now yeah you get one piece of chicken 40 pesos 40 pesos you know 70 cents mm -hmm. go go kfc and try and buy one piece of chicken you can I can I told her to get 10 and you eat these they're deep fried they're breaded they're fresh and they're very good and yes I love your cousins and your friends chicken leg yeah I love your chicken leg <laughs> reordered oh thank you for the super chat now shout out to you reorder Z Z seven. seven thank you for the super chat Hey, Mike, you and Janet are quickly becoming one of my favorite YouTube couples. Love your vibe, chemistry, and Mike's honest point of view. Keep up the great content. You all rock. Well, Salute with you. <laughs> so, well, how does Guapo? Salute and salutations. 
Thank Shout out you. to El Guapo also. Yeah, we never see El Guapo anymore. We have to go. <laughs> we have to go check out his channel. My Randy says my wife and I will be moving to Manila area soon. We'll sell our house around May or June. Yeah, you have the golden mm -hmm. ticket. You're going to have a great life here in the Philippines. Yeah. Alan, glad to hear that, brother. Uh, good morning, Mike and Janet. Mike and May, Sin City to the Philippines. Sin City, Sweet. Las Vegas, right? Um, From Moal Boal. Oh, we passed. I hope you well. We are well, thank you. Ah, that is the ma from Wabwal. Mom? Mike, we are this year in the Jelly. We went in Jelly Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah, you Mike doing? and May, yeah. yeah. Hello to you, Mike and May. Chicken legs, is that including a mortgage and my lifestyle? Would that be enough? Yeah. yeah. Enough. That, that is so much more than enough for the Philippines, man. Some people have your monthly income for the whole year and have a good life. Mm. Nukes, we are doomed. Should I start boozing? Of course. If you want to drink, drink. That's up to you. Uh, layout guys are, are cool. Hmm? Okay. Layout. Yeah. World War Three just started. Oh, no. Where? With you and Mike, you have a good and responsible wife who loves you. That's all That's all that matters. Tranquility is important for a person's Person mental, mental health. health. Yes. It sure is. It sure is. Yes. Everyone hit the thumbs up for Mike and Janet. Please smash that like button, guys. Yes, guys. I am only have 22 likes. And Mike, I will check to Mike. And I hope you're all subscribed. It looks like everybody subscribed. But hit that subscribe button, guys. Yeah. Please. Mike, Manny says, I dodged a bullet. I found my Filipina. And she is wonderful. Married for one year and all is well. You know what? For all the horror stories. And people... I call it, there's no crying in the Philippines. You get hurt, you get scammed, you get a bad relationship and it doesn't work. You go on and you keep living your life and you go on. And then, you know, you'll be happy like Manny, happy like me, happy like so many others. You'll meet a wonderful girl sometime. And once you find that girl, keep her and enjoy your life, enjoy your retirement. They're here. There's so many more good than there is bad. The bad are a few. The good are many. Yes. The good are many. You gonna take care of PJ? Yeah. PJ's up. Playing with the dogs. Good morning, Mike and Janet. Waiting to retire. Thank you. I'm a firm believer that if a man does his time for a crime, he deserves a second chance. He sure does. You know, once society, the legal system says, you have paid the price, you deserve a second chance. You know, maybe people are going to scrutinize you a little bit more than, than others, but you deserve a second chance. And I'm a firm believer when you come here to the Philippines, you leave that life behind in, in your home country if you can. And we judge, or I try, and, you know, uh, we all have our weaknesses, but I try to judge people from when I meet them, not from their past life. And we met Paul World Zoom, and he was a friend of ours. And uh, we like Paul. And, you know, a little bit of competition beginning with YouTube, but uh, it was a friendly competition. And uh, I'd love to meet him again. Uh, but, you know, the stars aren't aren't aligning that way. 149 watching with only 49 likes. It just takes a click. Yeah, when was that? 7:30. Wow, I'm an hour behind. Man, I got to get caught up here. Have you lied on? Might have lied on his residency application. To admit is U.S. convicted. I don't think so. They ask you, and um, you just check the yes box. Uh, Mike and Janet, good morning. First time on a live stream from Atlanta, Georgia. Your Buckeyes are super loaded this year. They are. I, I expect them to win it all easily this year. My Filipino wife uh, migrated here. Uh, 
migrated here, California, USA, when she was seven years old. I met her when she was 21 and I was 36. We got married when she was 26 and I was 41. We've been married for 17 years. Good, good story. Good story. I'm going to uh, skip ahead a little bit, guys. Uh, am, am I worried about China invading the Philippines? No, not really. I think they'll work that out. There's so many trade agreements. Scammed or robbed U.S.? Uh, you had two, 2,800 missing from my hotel in Angeles City. Inside job, my safe box in the room was opened. Money stolen from my emergency stash. Beware of hotel safes. Hotel safes, guys. You know, remember, there's a master combination in these safes. You do the hotel, hotel safe. They have a way to open. Somebody knows how to open. So um, spread your money around. Don't put it all in one spot. I don't know how to keep your money, but you need to. In the fridge. In the fridge doesn't Under. work. Under. <laughs> Janet says, put it in with the ice cream. Nobody will ever look inside the ice cream box. Congrats on living in the beautiful Philippines. Great beaches. I'm lucky to have met my wife in San Francisco. Got to love Filipino food. Yes, yes. Uh, let's see. James, California. Happy birthday. Hello, James. Happy birthday to you. I got scammed. Yeah, she needed Wi-Fi and continued to chat. She said it would cost more money. It does cost a lot of money to install in your home, but you don't have to pay for it. You don't have to. Oh, we still here. Our not only fifteen. Yeah. Good luck, Billy yeah. Goat. Uh, good luck to you. How come I'm like an hour behind? Some thirty. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I gotta hurry. Really many people. You have one hundred, one hundred ninety-eight and ninety-three people in your house i talked to a lot of filipinos before i met my wife 17 years ago it's the same around the world it's not that hard to tell a scammer unless you're desperate it does sometimes you can be very desperate about things yeah guys please please uh understand if i skip your comments happy sunday to all shout out to you g man chris Let's say I dated a Philippine American gal back in the day. One bought her bags. My door told her no way. <laughs> it's hard to get them to leave once they move in. If a hot girl requests you on Facebook out of the blue, it's always a scam. Yeah, I'm going to tell you a story here. I'll get farther behind. Uh, Mike, does Janet know how to cook hmm? so, so, suddenly? Ah, yeah, it's just she, so easy that way. She, so easy. But you, the, you know the so much you don't like the scenic gun i don't like sar, 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 sar. <laughs> so i will make for mike scenic gun, but not so much back to like... the story of the hot girl the hot girl we're talking scams here yeah i'm in las vegas i go i'm in the casino south point i'm sitting at the sports bar sitting at a bar i'm watching the game on the screen i'm playing video poker in front of me I got my beer there. I'm enjoying my evening. Up comes this gorgeous one, probably the prettiest girl in the whole casino, and says, what you doing, handsome? And you have a big book? <laughs> yes. What you doing, handsome? What did you do? <laughs> First words out of my mouth are, how much? You know. Why is he? Is he a problem? Is he a problem? It has to mix at some point. Mixing. I know. Like mix it for 20 minutes. Does your wife inherit any of your insurance or pension when you pass away? She inherits whatever I, I de determine her to inherit. I will see a lawyer about that. Mike, how hard will it be for me to find someone like Janet? Not that hard. You just have to look, spend time, and don't be in a rush. Any advice when I go there in June, June. Mike? I don't, I don't know what kind of advice you're looking for. Take it easy, slow down, slow relax, down. enjoy yeah. your life. Just roaming around where you places want to visit. Yeah, have yeah. Have, yeah. have an agenda. What you want to get accomplished when you're here. Yeah. Good morning, guys. Uh, we're less than sixty days away from being back. Your new apartment looks great. Thank Hello you. Hello to you, Norm. 
from Divina. Davina's looking good in her videos, her little shorts. Always. Yeah. <laughs> Chris M, they put they can't put filters on videos and chat too. Yes, they mm -hmm. can, man. They might be 300 pounds and they look like they're 40 kilos. <laughs> Repo local scam and cell tower scam. Okay. I've I've never I've never heard the cell tower scam. The repossession scam, yeah, they're going to repossess my motorbike and all that. I've mm -hmm. I've heard those. My first scammer was a lady boy. Lady boys are hot out there. I mean, they're they're not that they look hot. They're they're very aggressive in their scamming. They'll have like two or girl. three phones going, and they'll chat, and they'll ask for money right away. And if you say no, they'll cuss at you and and that. But if you show interest, then they they linger on you. They go. It's a numbers game for the lady boys. The more people they can talk to. Mm -hmm. Chris M. Holy crap. Holy crap, Batman. Russia, China, Iran, and North oh, Korea, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a scammer syndicate mm -hmm. all over the world. There and there's there's one here that got popped in Manila, uh, but it was a gam online gambling scam place. Uh, they were stealing the people's money. You know, online game gaming, you you put money in and then you play. Well, they were siphoning people's bank accounts and and many got arrested here. Many got arrested and deported. They were human trafficking and uh, scamming people out of money. It was a terrible situation. And it, those were Chinese. They, they were Chinese companies. Women fall for the romance scam. Yes, they mm -hmm. do. Guys overseas professing their loves and telling her what she wants to hear. So true. So true. Many guys, many guys give a lot of romance to the girl and hope hopes that the the girl uh will do things for them just conning the girl and is it just for the nude pictures it's hard for me to understand hello there mike and Jan charles hi charles i know you are always chatting me <laughs> i'm so sorry because i'm not misunderstanding the the one you chatted you <laughs> i always sorry. tell these girls i do drugs and smoke a lot of weed and when they keep trying, you know, there's a scam. Well, maybe they do a lot of drugs and smoke weed too. Companionship I is important. I yeah. thought it's different Charles. <laughs> yeah, different Charles. Scammers prey on your feelings and tell you what you want to hear so you feel good. All BS scammers. Yes, scammers. They they rely on you having a good heart. If you're a cold-blooded guy, you know, like, you know, you're going to kick that homeless guy as you're walking up the street you're they're not going to get a nickel out of you but if you have a good heart you're soft touch you cry you know when a baby's crying because it's hungry there's a lady on the boulevard when when jan and i would go down to the water and film she would and this is an old woman she would walk with this little baby yeah. and come up to us and say the baby's hungry well the baby's not crying then all of a sudden you watch her she'll pinch the baby and the baby's crying. She says, see, I told you, hungry, hungry. They're hoping you have a soft heart and you're giving money to the baby and not to her. And so many of these women walk up and down, uh, what do they call them, bug house? Badgie house. They're holding a baby and their hands are out. They send the kids to put their hands out to you. Yes. They're trying to, and this goes online, they're just reaching at your heart i'm lucky to have a brilliant american wife i'm set there you go there you go a brilliant brilliant american wife elderly needs companionship they are vulnerable to get scammed they are that is you know this is where the banks should be stepping in a little bit more when they see a lot of money going out they're like to the same person out of somebody's account, you know, somehow they should send the notice to a, a relative of this elderly person, but they're still in charge of their life. So um, they're vulnerable, but still responsible. Guys who send money to someone in the Philippines without meeting them is asking for it. That's what Janet says. Meet them in person. Don't send until you meet. Yeah, you me, use... me I, I understand guys sending money. Your new home looks nice, Brent. Thank you so much. Mike, 
Is this uh, your new mansion? Mansion, yeah. Did we get a video tour? Yes, but it's on Janet's channel, Philippine Life with yeah. Janet. Just visit this <laughs> in my channel, guys. You know, uh, I'm up here. I, I, I live in a mansion. I, I live in a big mansion. You know, I'm, I'm super rich. I have a mansion. I rent a house. I rent a nice house from a nice family. Just Every, a simple. simple. It's a simple house. It, look, it looks very nice. It's simple. Yeah. Even once you find a Filipino partner, the extended family will start inventing reasons to ask for money, especially if they say her life is better. Yeah, that's where you need to have your crown rules set, man. You got to set you got to set those boundaries early and and stick to them. You know, you, it's up to you. You're the man. If you if you're going to let the family really get to you about that, then it's it's tough. Alex, thank you for the super chat. Thank, thank you. you for the super chat, Alex. Shout out to you, Alex. This is your wife. Inherit your pension after you die. No, she does not. My pension uh, is Social Security. She does not oh get that. Um, the requirements for Social Security is five years. She has to be in the U.S. And uh, I we don't see that. We've talked about that. Uh, morning, Mike and Janet. I get a maximum of 78 spam calls every day. I was getting tons of those when I was in the States. It is just ridiculous. And you get on that no call list. That, that's the most worthless piece of legislation ever done by the government. Waste of money. Um, they have so many ways around it. Scammer payback. Uh, good video. My bank recommended watching them to learn about scammers, uh, mostly from India. Yeah. Scammers are all over the world. And I'm going to say there's more from India because the population is high in India. Any place that has uh, technology for the internet and easy access to cell phones and computers and it's a poor country is going to be sending a lot of scammers out there. Sorry to hear. Sorry, what is your rent in your new place? I'm a gardener. I would like to put some raised flower bed gardening is Good for the soul. Yes, it is. I rent 35K here. Uh, greetings from Sarasota, Florida. Brian, how you doing? Hello to you, Brian. James, no nudes. No nudes. That's right. If the girls quit sending nudes and the guys quit sending money, the scamming situation will come to an end. But some of the guys you send nudes. Some of the guys send nudes. I got an unsolicited nude once. You Pretty <laughs> The guy sent me, you know, Mike, you interested in this? You know, no. I'm not old, but I'll be there in a few months. All right, Chris. A lot of young guys come to the Philippines. You don't have to be old to come here. Good morning, Janet. Hello. Hello. Janet Mike needs a, to acknowledge the super stickers <laughs> and chats there. Yeah, I do. I don't know how to get to them faster. Honest. Honest value. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the super chat. Shout out to you, Honest Value. This is for the bag of rice. Thank you so much for this. Eric, a new channel member. Hey, Eric, thank you for becoming a new channel member. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So much. Shout out to you, Eric, and especially shout out to Jose. Rodriguez, do thank you for the super sticker you've given us, guys. So nice, so nice of you guys. Thank you, Chicken Legs, for reminding me. Let me scroll down, see where I can get to here. More, <laughs> I'm going more, more, more. We have more comments to read. Yeah, I'll, I'll go back up. Hello, Mike and Janet. Robert, thank you for the super sticker. Thank you so much, Robert, for the super sticker. Shout out to you. They're in Medellin, Colombia. Yeah, Not... Colombia. Wow, thank you, Robert. How's Colombia, guys? You That's know? where Guapo's wife is from. Melinda, California? No. Medellin? From Colombia. I don't I'm know where. Colombia. I don't know where in Colombia, but from, she's yeah. Colombian. And he's planning on retiring there. Shout 
shout out to Off the Cup Adventure with Jamie. Thank you for the super sticker. New place looks very chat. nice, guy. Happy Sunday. Yes, the place here. We moved in Saturday. Uh, yeah. It took us a day and a half. Janet, I think she's just settling in. We bought some more uh, uh, a cabinet for the closet because not a lot of closet space here. We bought a new TV. And uh, on Janet's channel, I think you saw that. I thought I saw the comment. Uh, she gives you a tour of the inside of the house and the outside of the house. Guys, we will never be showing uh, where we live again. Um, later, I'll talk into the security reasons that I've decided not to share where we live with people other than our close friends. All right. Thank you guys so much for the super stickers and the shout outs. Shout out to all the giving us a super sticker, guys, and super chat. Shout out to you. Really appreciate it, guys, so much. So where will be? We'll be back to the comment section. So here we go. Well, that's 630. I know I was in the 730s. I am so, you know, this... There's got to be a way where I can save my spot. I know it's way farther down. Way farther down. Wait for ice. <laughs> a lot of comments. Yes. And guys, I haven't heard too many scams of anything. The one scam I once talked about was um uh, guys who do the dirty nasty on on their video and as they're videoing uh the girl is filming it or recording it and then the husband or the boyfriend blackmails them so on, on that type of scam there's so many different types the one the one i always got the biggest kick out of and the one you got to really watch for is that grandma is in the hospital or my dad's in the hospital and they'll show you a picture of someone in a hospital bed and their face will have bandages on it or uh, somebody will be blocking the view of the of the parent or the, the the patient and they'll say this is my grandmother and somebody sent me that once and then i went on facebook and it was in my newsfeed from like four different people, my, you know, that this picture was someone else. So they copied and pasted that picture and said it was their grandparents. Um, okay. Yeah. When we do this, not we lose all our view. Everybody's leaving. <laughs> Don't leave us, guys. Don't leave us so much. Let's see here. We'll go here. Go truck yourself. I got a question. I know I could just Google it, but. This might even be a video idea for you. What mm -hmm. was involving bringing a pet to the Philippines? There, uh, I think it's called Over the Pond, uh, is a website where they help you bring your pets here. Um, it's just a cost matter. You have to get some vet work done, uh, transportation, and you got to get a permit from the Philippine government. Write to the Philippine embassy with a picture of the dog and the breed you can't bring in really big dogs uh mike which link should i use link i'm sorry which link should you use to oh either me or janet they're both the both the same it all comes in the same place it's just this one uh scream yard guys yeah we're on scream yard and it comes to both places so if you're watching on janet's channel or mine either one i do it on janet's to keep her her channel active as she's trying to grow her channel. Melting cheese, Mike, I love your channel. Excited to visit the Philippines, Manila. I visited a beautiful, oh, you're out of Palawan. Yeah, Palawan is very beautiful, yeah. but I wouldn't go there now. Too much stuff oh, going on. Uh, Gio and Jen, now uh, when you and Jana look at email I sent you, yes. uh, is what I'm coming to. Uh, In the Leona. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I saw the email. I didn't open it up yet, but I saw the okay, email. Chill, Don't send cash. No, you shouldn't. Now, that's a good one. No milk for the baby coming from a lactating woman. I know that's that, that one always got me. Uh, when they get rice from the local LGU or Brangy. Brang. 
Which one? Yeah, they, rice is something that the government can issue people who really need it bad. You know, the brangy helps out some yes. people. So, and the church helps out. They're, you know, nobody's really starving, starving. I'm sure there are people who are starving, you know, very hungry. But rice, rice is life. There's a lot of rice here. Rice now expense, it is for us, you know, 60 plus so pesos expense. a kilo, which is about a dollar ten uh a kilo, which is about fifty-five cents, about fifty cents a pound in the US. Uh if you have no work, no eat, yeah. Work, no eat. No washing, no cozy, you mm -hmm. know. You can alive if you are in a province. We just planted some uh yeah, like a sweet potato like that. You can alive a banana <laughs> banana. <laughs> you can go here banana in the jungle. I'm a Nigerian prince living in the Philippines and need airfare home. Please send me funds for a ticket. I will reward you with royal gold once I'm home. That is painted black, so nobody knows I have gold. Yes. How much is a hundred pound sack? About a hundred bucks. About a hundred bucks. Almost mama buy yeah. sacks almost three three K. Yeah, they can they can hunt for different quality yeah. rice and uh different places they can buy it cheaper. Yeah, cheap. We buy from the supermarket, so we're paying top dollar for it. Mike, I was four years old when I uh, migrated to California. Uh, I've lived here in California 54 years. America is fast deteriorating, and I'm contemplating moving to the Philippines. I'm going to assume, you know, you're born Philippine. If you haven't become a, an American citizen yet, become a U.S. citizen, then apply for dual citizenship with Philippines. So you, you'll have an easier time of it. Alan, will you name a bridge or road after me? The money's on the way. Yes. Yes. The National Highway. Yes. We sent three dollars, 160 pesos on World Remit, 49 cent fee to GCash. Yeah. You know, I, I I'm sure you can. I just when I was doing it, I was sending it Western Union. And there was a lot of fees. I have GCash, guys. I will send Ellen, you. why are you staying? Why are you staying in Philippines? If okay, I didn't get that one. Eric, we already recognize you as a new member, but welcome so much to the membership. Appreciate that very much. Money is not easy. It's a, yes, you need to work. You need to work for money. Mm -hmm. You know, all all the good soil they have here and things they can grow. No one's grown that money tree yet. For those who had a 401 retirement, what's the best? Thing to do with it uh, after you retire, take a steady income out of it. You know, monthly payment. Get a financial advisor for these questions. You know, I don't know your lifestyle. I don't know your medical needs. I don't know your social security payment. And the law is required. Like you can start taking it out at 59 and a half, but you must start taking it out at 70. Uh, get a financial uh, uh, advisor. Uh, maybe a one time. Uh, consultation with them. Money is hard to make. You keep saying that. Um, let's see where we are. What is the cost monthly for your new house? Everybody keeps asking. It's 35K. Josie, after you leave your job, uh, roll it over to an IRA. Robert. Mike, you can't be eating rice if no key, key, kilo, key, keto. Kilo. Yeah, I know. You won't lose weight. Gain Grain and sugar. sugar spikes your insulin. Now your body will start. Yeah, I know. I was on I was on it for 10 days and then I, I fell off of it and now well, I'm back yeah. on it. But uh it's, it's, it's so hard. It's it's I don't I don't need, it's so hard to stand that keto dialect here here in the Philippines. I try to build my own channel. That's yes. Join my membership and uh, get on YouTube for dummies and I'll help you uh, build your channel. But don't try building it here so much. Many women on dating sites are not there for dating. 
just potential scammers and redirect you to their Instagram. Yes, any anytime you meet someone on Facebook, uh, a messenger or on a date, and they send you to Instagram or uh, they want to do a, a WhatsApp call, it's usually because what they're saying is not appropriate for the platform they're on. So it's a, a red flag to me. I'm heading out there for the first time and I'm nervous with no plans on what I'm doing. You don't need plans to what to do when you get here, guys. You need plans to get here. You need plans to how to get your money. You need plans, you know, uh, that your passport's good and everything. And have some sort of agenda of what you think you might want to do. Do you want to go golfing? Do you want to go swimming? Do you want to go swim with the uh, whale sharks? Do you want to go uh, look for dolphins? Do you want to go up into the beautiful mountains? Uh, do you want to go in the jungle and look for... Uh, king cobras and pythons um, you got to have some direction of what you're looking for but if it's just to come to the philippines and relax and live a simpler life on a vacation uh, maybe cebu city uh, start there for a short time get used to the weather and uh, the way of life and the people and then pick a small middle-sized town and go visit that next but you don't need plans you can get on a ferry every day. You can go down to the seaport and grab a ferry to go somewhere. So sad, California has gone down. Yes, it is. Jose, thank you again for that super sticker. We really appreciate that. That was very nice of you. George Thoroughgood. Yeah, that's right. And the destroyers. Yeah. Oh, geez. Christian Filipina just called me. Well, called me. <laughs> Do you call? I like Christian Filipina of all the dating sites. That's the one I, I I recommend. I only send money after I came to the Philippines and met and asked my fiance to marry me. That's that's what Janet says to do. Be in a serious relationship, meet him in person, and then send money. Yes. Meet in person and know each other. Yet. Can you vote in the U.S. election? Yes, you can do a mail-in ballot. Yeah. You can. Yes, mail-in ballot. Yeah, mail-in ballot. Right. Randy, I arrive in Manila on Friday for an eight-week exploration. How would I get help, help if me. my credit debit card, cell phone, and laptop go missing? Son, Son can't see. send me money. Contact the brand account. Okay. Man, no. no. How's he going to help you? You know, you, because you don't know me. if they all go missing from your hotel you call the police you go you know if you're in a main hotel call the police your phone should be with you 24 7 you should never uh, and your debit and credit cards you should have those with you and uh somewhere on your person and not your laptop it's possible you could lose your laptop at any time um debit credit card the banks have 800 numbers um man you gotta have some cash you know i no matter where in the world you travel what are you going to do if if you're in new york city and someone takes your credit card your cell phone and your laptop um you know gary yes i can vote in philippine yes you, we can vote what's up randy alex is with randy uh, david i'll be back trump is speaking oh, oh my god yeah Stop. Morning, Mike and Janet. Your new place looks great. How many times have you said, and I said, uh, when you interview me in January, don't send them money. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a tough lesson to learn. Yes. I'm interviewing. <laughs> yeah, we are. Don't trust anybody but yourself. Eh, you have to trust somebody, man. You have to trust somebody. Yes, the COD package that you didn't order, do not expect. Those scammers use your address from Lazada and Shopee also. Well, if, if you didn't order it, they'll pay for it. You know, So some things are, uh, like I said, just a numbers game. They throw it out there so many times, hoping so many people will be attracted to it. I need a wife. Can mm -hmm. you help me? Yes, yes. It's so hard. Get on my um, website and do um, a consultation. 
And we'll talk about that, how to find a wife in the Philippines. This is why on this is why on Smart you can put their phone number and actually subscribe to the plan for you via yeah, Giga, Giga Smart. Smart app. App. Yeah. Okay. Janet knows about that. I don't. Smart Giga, how to register your your account. Mm -hmm. Gary says thanks, Mark. Uh, easy to avoid all this shit. Uh, don't send money. Don't give out personal info. I never meet in person and feel it out. Yes, but you know, if people weren't getting taken for the scams, if these scams weren't working, uh, we wouldn't be talking about. It. They're always working. They might not work with you, John, and they might not work with Sam or Joe or or Jill, but they work with somebody. And you know, they throw enough shit against the wall, it sticks. You know, it's it's like fishing. Uh, if you if you throw twenty rods out there and you bait each hook. Maybe one will get a bite. And that's what they're looking for at one bite. Let's see, where else are we here? We're so long. I'm one hour behind, guys. Yeah, I really am. Three one hours. Hour. <laughs> New scam here in America is up wanting money to deliver your packages and saying disabled veterans are getting uh, 3400 $3, stimulus check. Now, watch out. Don't click on companies and check. Yeah. Company check. If if somebody was going to get a stimulus check from the government, don't you think all the government people would be on TV talking about it all the time? When they sent out that twelve or $1,400 stimulus check, all the politicians were taking credit for that. Gary, no worries. The U.S. Embassy in Manila will assist you. Mm -hmm. And can, you can check their website also. John Hobbs, amen to that. Do not send money. I will take your loose change if you don't want it. That loose change remark, that's going to remind me of a story. I'm driving around North Las Vegas. Anybody who lives in Nevada, Las Vegas, North Las Vegas, uh, before they started building it up, it was more of the uh, uh, poorer part of Las Vegas. And on one of the streets corners was a preacher, black preacher. And he was there every day, every day on this corner. And he finally got it where I had to stop for the light and my car was next to him. And he stuck his head in my window. I rolled down my window, talked to him for a moment. And I said, no, no, I don't want to donate. That's fine. He goes, can I have that change there, you know, in the council? So I gave him that 58 cents of change. Just like scammers, every, every nickel they can get adds up. They, they just keep throwing against the wall, ask so many people, somebody's going to say yes. And here I was, somebody that would always say no. And then I said yes for 58 cents. I fell for the six, the sick carabo. Six carabo and thought I needs to carabo. To plow the fields, yes. yes. You, they do, it's a true thing, but yes, this, they can go borrow the neighbors. Let me get this there situated. <laughs> Remember, not all scammers are women, just pretending to be women. Yeah, many, many lady boys. Many, many lady boys. If they are out of gasol, they will be cooked and coconut leaves for free. For the tree. Coconuts, they take the, you know, the, the, a lot of the Filipinos cook in the outdoor kitchen, out, outside yes. kitchen, and they cook with wood or coconut leaf, but they make charcoal out of coconut shells. Yes. We so, can do that one to the barbecue. Yeah, for our barbecue, we yes, use coconut shells. coconut shells. Romance scammers, they steal girls' photos and find out enough about them so you think you're talking to the creator until you image search the picture on Google and they made error. Yeah. Error. Image search, that's a good way to go with the photos, but you should always video chat these these women so you see who it is. Mike Philippine Retirement, uh, Melting Chain, I, I watch your channel a lot lately. You scare me uh, to, to date of Filipino me. women with all these stories. <laughs> you should see my inbox on my email inbox. I can't, I was going to do one a day, but they come in like 10 a day, these stories. And I've decided I'm going to do video chat 
uh, I'm going to make a video on each email. And I'm just going to put in members only. And I'll send a copy to the original uh, sender of the email. And that'll be my response to their questions about the scam or their questions about the Philippines. So again, take advantage of being a channel member and seeing some of these stories. Uh, there's going to be much more. My public videos are going down to only three a week. I'm, I'm going to cut back. I'm going to try and be a little bit... Uh, a little bit nicer type video, but on my members only, I'm going to have a lot of videos, shorter videos, quick videos, but more often. Um, my main content is for my public uh, forum, for all my channel members, for all the subscribers to watch. And it's gonna have a lot of interesting things. They're gonna be longer videos but I'm gonna put a lot of these short ones. And then when I can get like 10 of the short ones um, that are, are good, I might tie them all together and release it publicly as one. But for 99 cents, you can get on there and you can watch all the videos, you know, just uh, uh, binge watch them all and get them all watched in, in one time. Mass text and mass email scam. I had a business and I could send out Tom. thousands. Beware of scammers. Yes, beware of scammers. Just be careful. Please send money. My baby needs milk. First thing I'm going to say is a baby can't have milk. You mean formula. <laughs> How about the, I need a motor payment? Or they will re repossess it. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, there's so many reasons for money. My business was on the up and up. Mm. Well, yeah, you can do mass mailing. When we had the auto repair garage, it was mass mailing, oil change, special. Uh, Al needs a girlfriend. Um, hit me up for consultation. We know lots of girls here. Beware of other people selling people's land in the Philippines. Yes, if you buy land in the Philippines, you, you buy a house in the Philippines, get your own lawyer. It's not like the U.S. The, the seller's going to have a lawyer. The seller's going to have an agent. They're both working for the, age, uh, the seller. You need to go get your own lawyer to protect your interest and have them read the contract. Have them search the deed and the title. And don't transfer money until you know it's for real. Rod from uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Man. Welcome. So, no, yeah, it's below. I cannot they make sure I cannot read like that. Mark Nation. That's it. Baguio, I believe that's Mountain City High Elevation. Sounds nice. It is. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like it that go up there. Cooler. All right. There. Benoit Thor, correct, uh, when you are marked by one scammer, they'll... Yes, they will. I've seen this in Behold. I've seen this in Behold. Uh, when I was living in Behold, the coffee shop I went to, um, I came friends with two or three of the girls that hung around the coffee shop. And the four of them would be sitting at the table and they're all talking to somebody. And then all of a sudden they'll get up and run. They're going over to the money exchange. And then they come back and they got their money and they do it again. And, you know, a boyfriend, uh, you know, the one girlfriend will contact the guy and say, hey, you know that girl, Grace, you're talking to? She has a husband. Talk to me. You know, they'll steal each other's mark, if, if that's what we want to call them, a mark. I was there in March, stayed uh, mainly in Luzon. We'll be back next year, maybe visit you guys. I got scammed too, but I knew it was a scam and I was a willing participant. It was only 3K uh, pesos. Yeah, yeah, a lot of times you know what's going on and you just, you know, they think they're conning you, but you're just being nice. And uh, yeah, they're lost in the long run. They could have got a lot more in the long run. Janet, I love you. Mike, I hate you. Okay. Just joke. I know it's a joke. Okay. Mike, how is Harold? That blog had many views. 
it's a shame uh, that he is ignorant and, and some try to spoil your yeah advice he, you know the the he comments are the comments and the thing a lot of people tell me uh in the comment section i should be deleting these people and blocking them but why why they're lonely people at home making comments you know they're they're making stupid comments they've never been here uh they don't understand the situation but that's fine that's fine i know what the percentage of comments are uh bad or good i appreciate that they watched the video and made a comment and i appreciate you uh standing up for me there but uh the comments are fun to read a lot of other youtubers i don't watch their videos but i'll look at their thumbnail and then i'll read all the comments and you you get to learn the whole video by watching the reading the comments yeah we also have tons of scammers in the U.S. They're called modern women. Yeah, we talked about that earlier. You know, the uh, the I, the girls that want dinner all the time and nothing in return. Janet is shy, cute. No, she's not. I'm not cute. <laughs> she's not shy. I'm sh Texas Filipino. Good morning, James. Hello to you, Texas Filipino. I hope I don't know if you're still on eight. That's an hour ago. So sorry, Charlie. I met a Philippine online who was smoking hot. She never asked me for money, only to mm -hmm. to sing to her. Ah, uh, I had one Filipina ask me to sing to her. Also, P says that the, the Philippine Philippe girls hide a lot. Hide a lot. Yeah, they do. They do. They they don't want to have all their dirty laundry out there they're not you know when you first meet them they're not going to say hey by the way i had two old boyfriends i i had a kid uh my my mom is in the hospital they're not going the good one's not going to talk to you about all that stuff she's going to learn you and learn about you and slowly tell you about their personal life unless you ask All marriages are transactional in relationship. Yes, they are, Mark. You have to agree on the transaction and the boundaries. Let's see. Sorry I didn't call back last night. I didn't have my phone with me. Just chilling, doing things. All right. I'll get hold of you after the live stream. We'll be done about 10 o'clock. Uh, yeah. Is that already 9 30? Oh, and a half hour. Oh, my God. I'm, I only got a half hour left and I'm an uh, hour and a half behind. I'll be. Okay. You and ten? Yeah, I'll be there in two weeks. Getting married uh, to an awesome Filipina, and we've been together for almost a year now. Congrats! To Congrats! You. Uh, what I meant, she never really asked for nothing. She really had nothing to say. <laughs> she is a teacher. She speaks good English, but I asked her about her day, and it's very limited. Like she said, it's okay. Uh, yeah, that's how they talk. Good English, which. I wasn't ghosting you like you, buddy Paul. <laughs> James, Texas Filipino, man. You guys, I hope you guys check out his channel. Janet and I are heading up to Elo Elo, and I'm going to make arrangements to meet with this young man and his lovely wife. We'll try to travel. Yeah, next weekend. So bye. Somehow. Oh my God, maybe take a bike. Surprise to Janet. When will we hear Janet's rap song? When are you going to do your rap song? I'm sorry guys i'm still busy <laughs> you know I'm not busy. that's enough to live out in the united states uh nine thousand four hundred yeah that's a lot of money i'm going re regardless because i want to give her the benefit of doubt and hoping it will change when we uh first see each other yeah if you really like somebody give them the benefit of the doubt they can have a common law marriage and actually have to go go through the divorce i think that's that billy goat i'm so far back even if you truly love each other uh is a transactional at the end of the day or a partnership yeah guys let's see 8 30. no nah, i'm not so far behind catching up mm. see big papa travels i oh. hey i hope to be there in october and november hope to meet you and, and paul you and paul okay yeah. big uh, papa travels here I'm planning on setting my wife a set up in a business for her and her family. Okay. Good luck with that. Uh, there's no perfect match. You match and blend. Yes, that's true. 
You talk about life, your wife. Uh, Ex-wife was 17. My junior, yeah. I was going to set up my wife in business in Philippines before I go. Mm -hmm. whole, a whole separate topic and uh, setting business up in the Philippines. It can work, but not really. Janet, if you decide to leave Mike, I'm here for you. Everybody wants Janet. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> Robert, again, thank you for the super chat, Robert. I scammed myself into uh, in, into Ben her. Mm -hmm. I scammed myself into being her knight without really That's knowing nice. her. I bought her a pig farm, a chicken farm, nothing melons, cornfield, rice field. Wow, how many? So I have a place <laughs> to retire now. I know. Oh my God! So big. Come, come buy us a farm. We have so much farms. Uh, BK Belgium Carnivore. Hey, Mike, how you doing? Hello. Cheapo Chips. chicken can't afford leech on. You cannot afford leech on. <laughs> How is it? Get this is how you get scammed by telling online that you get nine thousand four hundred a month. Can I borrow nine k? It's not. It, it means he's pretty smart and shouldn't be caught. Uh, hi, it's Kenny from Clearwater, Florida. Hope you two are doing well. Hey, Kenny, we're doing great. The silver jewelry guy. Mm. Cool name. My wife is from Cavite. I love the Philippines. All right, I've never been there. I knew nothing of the Philippines or Philippine women until after I got into a relationship. After seeing all kinds of horror stories, I find myself very fortunate. Yes, there's many, many good stories compared to the bad stories. Edgar, simping isn't easy. I still don't know what simping means. So many people use that term. Going on seven years with my Aussie, uh, two years married, five years dating. Uh, take your time, guys. No rush. Yes, Gio. Tell them, slow down. Take it easy. Sex criminals don't deserve to get a redo. Shout out to PJ. Yeah, he was in the room. He went in his room. All these, hello, PJ. Everybody saw PJ. You go, Buck. Who's going to win the NBA championship? Playoffs going to start. China is going bankrupt. I don't think so. Put your money in dirty laundry. They won't. <laughs> Put your money in a dirty laundry and they won't look at that. <laughs> they won't look at the laundry. Good morning from uh, Buta. Buta Mindanao. Buta Mindanao. Mm -hmm. I think our friend uh, Chad Foster said it that way. I like this live stream so much I hit the thumbs twice. Guys, please do He's you know, when you hit the first time, it's up. When you hit it the second time, it's gone. So you got to hit it a third time. <laughs> third time. So that's When can we bad. hear Janet sing a rap song? Before <laughs> the end of this show, we'll have her rapping. In love, of course, you. <laughs> It'll be the end of the show. Janet, you have, oh my God, hilarious. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Hi, <laughs> guys. Had to laugh when you mentioned gas and Coke bottles. While I was there, recall when shopping uh would tell them not to mix coke and pepsi this is my first comment oh bob hello to you bab yeah bob it's in the little sorry sorry story because they don't have gas cans mm. want to find a good filipina uh look for a shy one that's a yeah that's fine yes yes Notes off the cuff again. Thank you so much for the super chat. Happy Sunday to you. Happy Sunday to all you guys here. Trust me. Hi to CL. Mike, sorry, off topic. Two years in a row. Set four methods called call one eight hundred September thirteenth. Told they received suspended. Okay, I don't know what. Uh, Bob, I'm lost on that one. Mm, four methods called 180 13 day. I'm lucky I don't have a wife. Uh, the massage parlor is next door. Yeah, Phil, I'm sure there is. 
I know that's your basis on finding a rental unit is how close to the local 24 seven massage park. Mm -hmm. When scammers call uh, me I'm here in here. Florida, I tell them what the, and why are you waking me up in the Philippines? Oh, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> Good blessed morning, Mike and Jennifer, from Florida. Good blessed morning, too. Wow, a lot of Florida people here. I'm in the swamp. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I used to get uh, like bill collectors and people would call, scammers would call me on, on the phone in the U.S. on the landline. And I would always just tell them, hey, wait a minute, let me go get a cup of coffee. I'd love to talk to you. And then just put the phone down, see how long they stay on the line. Yeah. Jan and mark the calendar June 8th. I'll be in Dumaguete Airport with your chocolates. Be there in the airport. <laughs> Giovanni. Love the channel. I'm moving to Saragao in a year. Right now, I'm 80% VA, mm -hmm. $22.50 a month. Uh, that Will that really be enough to live on? I don't like the nightlife and material okay. things so much. Well, if that's what you got, that's, that's what it's going to take. You just have to make your lifestyle. You can live on that. You can live on that. Yeah. Mike, it's funny. Some of my family doesn't <laughs> chat, call me at all. But if I join a face group, a Facebook group, Filipina dating foreigners quickly, they call my niece that I stay with and tell them it's also and tell her it's all scammers. Yeah. <laughs> the Filipina dating sites, if it's a free site, it, it'll have more scammers than uh, the pay sites. That's why Christian Philippine, I'm sort of leaning towards um, recommending that because it's a pay site and a lot more because um, so many people ask me what's the best site and it seems they're a little bit more responsible than some other sites. Would you consider living in Cebu City long term? Maybe in 10 years. After, after PJ's grown. Yes, maybe. Yeah. Just subscribe to your channel, Janet. Thank you, Rick, for subscribing, God. If you are not yet subscriber, guys, please check out my channel, Philippine Life with Janet, and also to Max, Philippine Retirement. Kicking the table. <laughs> I've been cold. <laughs> Just cold, she keeps kicking the table. Let's see, Eric says he's single. I don't know what that means. You're single, You're Eric. Single you can ready to mingle <laughs> i'm taking i'm sorry chicken legs i've been watching okay a lot of, i'm so far behind all these people are yes. talking shout to out them. to all 158 here people watching us thank you so much guys let's see paul he hasn't been deported well you know that guy who took that video that that was a few days back man that mm -hmm. was a few days back uh, he looked relaxed, which is good in uh, the jail, outdoor yard during the daytime. Perhaps he's appealing. He is appealing. He is. I'm, I'm sure he is appealing that. Hi guys. Hello, Natalie. Mike, what's going on in Palo? I don't know. I don't know. What's happening in Palo? <laughs> I know the Aussie Navy and the British Navy and the American Navy and the Philippine Navy is all oh, out there, it's all and bad. so is the Chinese Navy. It's like the movie Shark, uh, Jaws, when uh, the guy had the big uh, shark cage and uh, the boat captain goes, uh, the cage go in the water, you go in the water, shark in the water. It's not, not going to be a good outcome. Keto diet in the Philippines has got to be a nightmare. It is, man. I tried it. Ten days. We were up in, we were up in Cebu. I was so good on it. And uh, no. It, it's just so hard. It's hard. I mean, you said I'm still hungry and I cannot. <laughs> I met a Filipina in a Boston cafe. She worked at a call center and she is going to the province to visit grandma. Will see me again when she returns to Cebu. She texts me next day. Grandma had a heart attack and needs 10K. Wow. Oh, wow. Sorry to hear. Yeah, I don't believe. Welcome to the better side of Dumaguete, Valencia. Enjoying your live chat with a cup of Chester coffee. Chester, you know, uh, we live just like where we used to live. So we've always lived here. Uh, Mike and Janet, uh, 
Don't overdo. Good to see you guys. Hey, Herb. Yes. Missing the Philippines. Paul, hold the door open at 7 Eleven for change if someone steals your wallet. That's. I just. You can park motorbikes here in the Philippines. Five pesos a bike. I just found out that if you owe taxes and don't pay for 10 years straight, you don't have to pay them. California is four years straight. Look it up. Wow. I don't think I'll last 10 years not paying taxes. Okay, I'm back, David. We're still here. David Price. What's going on in Palo Alto? Nothing I know of. That's a different topic. Parking, te uh, Parking attendant, attendant is typically a scam. You park your car, then when you leave, somebody shows up behind you. Waves. You know, that's not a scam, dude. You know, you try to back up onto the boulevard and you can't see and people will let you go and they hit you for that five pesos. He's holding up traffic, making sure no one hits you and you get out of the parking spot safely. Same thing with the motorbikes. You know, they uh, sometimes you have to move the bike because the, the guys whose bike is first has to get out. They watch your helmet. They put cardboard on the seats of the sun. Yeah, and they, you know, they watch over your stuff. And the mall they have there. Five pesos. If you think five pesos is a scam, uh, you know how much five pesos is in U.S. money uh, calculated? Uh, leave 10 pesos. You know, that's not, that's, not even a nickel, is it? Good night, everyone. See you, Chicken Legs. So nice of you to join oh, thank us. Thank you so much here for visiting Chicken Legs. Good night to you. Me too. I want a husband. Yeah, good luck on that. Happy keep your wallet in your front pocket. Good advice. Janet is your translator. She is. Janet is your translator. <laughs> Janet is my everything. Translator. What's out of Manila? <laughs> Some text, guys. I'm so hard to translate to money. <laughs> no money, no Janet. No money, no honey. No money, no, no food. <laughs> I have to borrow from Janet. Would it be a good game plan when I got to Saragown? Not to date for the first two months. Just focus on, you know, I would date. I would, I would enjoy the social life. Just don't commit in that first two months. You know, the, enjoy your life. You know, and it's good to have a Filipina to walk around with, explain things to you, show things, but just let her know it's a date and don't commit. Don't commit. Police in the Philippines want you to carry your passport. Do you have to? Mm -hmm. I don't carry my passport, but I have Philippine ID. I have a Filipino driver's license and I have a Philippine if ACR to, card. If you go to the government, you need your passport. Yeah, if you then, need, if yeah. you need something, official sure. uh, yeah you need your passport you know and i needed my passport to uh, get wi-fi to install because they want your own they want they want to prove it's me mm. photocopy tracy yes yes hello retired 850 you said you have a channel uh to find no i did not i said uh join uh get on my website and Book a consultation. I'll tell you how to find Philippine women. Have been here since 2001. I've never asked for my passport. Only time I use it for travel and renewal. Well, if you need, if you want to get Phil Health, you have to use your passport. If mm -hmm. you want to buy something mm -hmm. on installment payments, you need your passport. So there's many times you don't need it. Uh, usually, I would have to go home and get it because I don't carry it. Greetings, Mike and Janet from Rio Rancho, New Mexico. Are you still doing YouTube for dummies? Yes. Any updates on the arrest and deportation of the expat? No, he's just, he's waiting. I think he's going to um, appeal the extra, it's not an extradition, the deportation. Deported? Yeah, I, I don't think they're going to end up deporting him. I don't think so. Bitchy girls and psychopaths, get yourself out of there. It's no healing cure for them. Okay, Edgar, spoken like a true gay guy. Uh, hi, Mike and Janet. Do you like the Dodgers baseball? Um, I, I know the story, I, but I don't know enough of the story to talk about it. I'm not a big baseball fan. I know he's a good ball player, but uh, 
I know nothing about that. Gambling, gambling is legal now in sports, and uh, uh, the NBA had a bigger scandal than that. Uh, Janet is so cute. Uh, she looks 20 years old. She's 33. I'm coming 33. I'm old now, guys. Yes, cute like Judy. Judy. Hello to Judy. The only scam is you pretending 30. to have good advice. You scam. Oh, my God. 34. Paul months. McGill. Oh, my God. <laughs> Paul McGill would hate you for using his name. 34 oh, McGill. McGill. Oh, my God. I never heard anybody use Paul McGill's name like that before. Oh my God. Old dog, new tricks. Somebody use him? If Paul's in the house, file a report on this guy. Oh my God. Dirty Paul. Okay. Did I say your name enough? Did you get enough airtime on that comment? Enjoy. I hope your life is better. Does your wife have a single sister? She does. Oh. Mike. It's just and near he, end. J Janet is not stupid. Oh, she's not stupid. Janet's very smart. Does your wife have? Yes, she does. I answer that one. Florida here also. I live in Coco. Cocoa. What is that? Coco. I live in Cocoa. Oh, I, that's in Florida. Uh, you got about the same number of people in this chat as Philippine Annex chats. chats. Yeah, I know, man. You know, they're they're so much better than me. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm surprised I had anybody in here. Uh, wow, you got about the same number. I'm at the end of the chat. You come back in a day and see the total views. Uh, mine will be far superior than hers. I'm going to be bored now. I have no more house videos to watch. Mike and Janet, I know, I know. You know what was really bad, Edgar? The thing there, there, I saw two houses posted on Marketplace. And I saw another person video one of the houses we did, and all three are different rents. So that's the main reason I quit doing it. If we can see something, we yeah. can post. Hold off uh, the conflict in the Philippine Sea until after we land in Manila, please. There, yeah, it's fine. Come on, come on. Hello, Mike and Janet. K gay. KKMD style. Hello to you. Hey, Mark, watching from Maine. I uh, wish I could have been there from the start. Me too. From the start of the chat. Yeah, me too. Go back and watch the all the people who've come in late. Watch the beginning of the chat. I go into my talk in, uh, about uh, scams and such. I spend about 10, 10 minutes talking. Uh, you get the gist of the the live stream, and uh, then then watch it. Three hours of watching, turn it on and just let it play. Currently in Cebu, uh, you've been here since '09. Dennis, you're a you're a trooper, man. You've been here a long time. Okay, right. Mark says five pesos is Same. eight, almost nine cents. Yeah, parking attendants are scam. They, they get you for five cents. And you know what? You don't have to give them five cents. You don't have to give them nothing. But that's the only way they get paid. And it's better they're doing something than going down the road uh, begging. And you know when the cars are parked wrong or the bikes are parked wrong and the police pull up, they, they yell you. at the parking attendant. They don't come and say, hey, you, move your bike. They yell at the parking attendant, the guy that's watching that area, to fix it. Maybe he has to move all the uh, bikes in a close way. He gets all the bikes turned facing outwards so you can leave easier. And there's by them standing behind the car as they back up and stopping traffic, it stops people from hitting each other, which is probably the big headache here. Time is plenty. We all have plenty of time. But you hit somebody in the rear end here, it's, you know, it's not good. It's just not good. They do a great job. Mike, how's everything with Heidi? Uh, did you get your 13A? It's still in process, Jill. Contact, contact me. Uh, I have your email. I'll send you an email. I'm planning on a long trip to the Philippines this winter. What's the best winter months to travel to the Philippines? June. June, July, August. You know, it's summertime back east, but it's a good time if here. Want, uh, All the way up until Burr December. <laughs> yeah, the burn months, you know. Yeah, burn months is good here. But cooler. December is tough because it's a holiday. Mm -hmm. 
uh, we are all addicted to the internet, but I'm never going to marry a cell phone. That's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. Currently have Philippine driver's license and SRV. And that's all. I, I, yeah, that's all you need to show. You got SRV. You don't need a passport because you're a permanent resident. You don't need to show your passport. I love how you handle the haters. Thanks, Eric. Uh, good morning, guys. Hey, Jack. John, John, John. John. How are you, John? Paul McGill wannabe got his dose of Dominique Dopamine today. Yeah, well, the wannabe. You know, the people they they use the name, and I got caught a couple times. I had once a regular guy came in here. He had all the same as regular guy, and I thought it was Scotty and El Guapo. Somebody used the the El Guapo thing. So I have to be a little bit more careful uh, to recognize who these people are. Usually they watch and don't talk. You know, they usually just watch and don't talk. And then they'll call me later. Yeah. Scan an image of a passport on your phone instead of the real thing, unless you go to a government agency. True, true. I have to laugh at the phrase, no money, no honey. You can't live on love alone. You need cold, hard cash. That's right. Who in the U.S. Is, you know going to marry some broke ass guy, homeless, living under a bridge, uh, and he's going to go out and find a, a beautiful wife, beautiful girlfriend? No, if he doesn't have money, doesn't have a life, doesn't have uh, a, ability to support himself, no one's going to give him the time of day. I don't care what country you you're in or what woman in the world. Are there any Amish in the Philippines? I'm going to say I don't know. It's a religious group. A different religious group. He is somebody pretending to be old dog. Old dog is uh, Paul in the Philippines. Is his name? Mike and Janet. I'm in the doghouse here. In the doghouse here. RN. Okay. Here. Hello to you, morning. Oh, you're in the doghouse, Paul. All right. All right, I get it. I give them 100 pesos to help me with traffic and watch the bike. I don't give 100. You know, I give 10. If there's two bikes, 15 or 17. Uh, but five is all they really want. Charles, I've been in and out of the Philippines since 07. And to my knowledge, there is no Amish there. Yeah, I, I just don't know. I know there's a lot of Amish went to uh, Argentina years back because they could get land cheaper and they had more freedom there. And uh, it was more of the uh, climate that they wanted. I hear if you have an accident and you're an expat, you're automatically at fault. No, it's not true. It's not true. But sometimes it's easier just to give somebody a couple thousand pesos and have it go away. You know, 40 bucks and have the whole, whole thing goes away. Because if you have to get an attorney, it's going to cost you more. Best time to travel to the Philippines, mid-September, the end of February. The most expensive is March through August. Mm -hmm. Unless you're uh, in Cebu. I wouldn't be in Cebu during Sinaloc. It's very expensive during Sinaloc. Mm. But everywhere else in the islands, he's probably right. You're probably right, Mike. Summer. Yeah. Do you have any hobbies like golf, fishing, billiards, et cetera? No, uh, I watch Pornhub. I watch Pornhub. Hobbies? I watch Pornhub. Are there a lot of broke ass expats still in Dumaguete? Not too many, man. It depends what you consider broke. I don't think you can be broke and live in Dumaguete. First of all, a blogger is going to catch you and put you on their channel. And second, Dumaguete is a little bit more expensive than a lot of other areas of the Philippines. You might travel on down to Bayawan or, or you know, farther away from a city. You might even go into Mindanao. Uh, but uh, not if you're talking about broke being homeless, no. Are you talking about people that need help all the time? Not really. Not really. You know, I'm going to say no. You see the homeless guy in California Eating a person like eating a person like no. Did when you, you see a homeless guy, Kelly, yeah, uh, no. There's more homeless and more broke Americans sitting in the streets of California, Las Vegas, um, Albuquerque than I see on 
Filipinos on the streets here. I think the Amish with a horse and buggy would be humorous. There's a horse and buggy here in Dumaguete, a couple of them. Yes. Not Amish, but a general peace witness. Yes. The yeah, Men Mennonite churches in the Philippines. That I don't know about, but thank you guys for the information. Uh, Pornhub, I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, that's that's my hobby. Everybody asks me, Mike, what's your hobby? What's your hobby? And uh, I don't have a hobby. Me and Janet, riding around on the motorbike is a hobby. Traveling, we like to travel sometimes. Oh, is a hobby. Places. Yeah. yeah. I'm you so know. surprising because I've been here long time 32 years in the baguette but i never been traveled anywhere here there's a lot of places we yeah. go she's never been to before yeah and you know uh and and we go we we take day trips yes. and that's the one big thing about dumaguete uh it's a place to settle down it is not a single man's paradise even though a single man can have a good life here it's not it's not uh the paradise here for a single guy but it's a place you can live, you can retire, you can live comfortably. You can find very nice places to rent. And you can build a nice home here if you want. And there's things to do that are day trips. Our, our, long, our long distance trip is for us to go to Cebu City. We leave here 530 in the morning. We're there by uh, just after lunch. And our next trip, we're going up to Iloilo next week. And I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't know how hard of a ride it is, but uh, we're going to find out. And so uh, we just not go to the Sipalemas farther. So we just go to the. Yeah, we don't know which way to go. Uh, we have to figure it out. We're going to talk to James, uh, Texas Filipino. He's traveled from there to here and get the best route. But sooner we visit Sipala. It's so nice. There. Janet wants to go to Sipalai. <laughs> she wants to go to Sipalai. Sipalai beaches is good there. Yes, there's many places to go. And they're day trips. If you leave early enough, mm -hmm. you can go there, spend four or five hours, and then drive back. Mm -hmm. And um, if you want to spend the night, you can spend yeah. the night. But uh, there's so many places to go in Dumaguete, so many places to visit. And it's very safe here. You know, safety is, a, is a, an issue. And everybody feels safe until the day something happens. That they're not safe you know you, you always feel safe until you finally not finally but when you're robbed or you're harassed then you don't feel safe anymore but uh dumaguete is is fairly fairly safe and uh it seems like everybody knows what's going on in dumaguete all the time and there's really not that much it's pretty sleepy here pretty sleepy town i was in bed by eight o'clock last night and I'm an active individual. <clears throat> I lost my internet and I lost Pornhub. Let's see. Are we on that side? Nine plus. Okay. I'm trying to find where I left off. I'm so bad. Yeah. There we go. Pornhub, I'm with you. I've seen a few when I was there. Okay, I, I have never i haven't looked i wouldn't even notice them amish i would not even notice them hey you got a big kitchen in the new house looks good thank you it is this is big. not big the the kitchen's not big you know there's not a lot of counter space just one whole street but we have so much crap we have outside those you know we have the air fryer we have the toaster oven yeah. we have <laughs> two coffee pots and yeah also the beacon not the mic microwave and all this and that you uh -huh. know I don't know where to put the big. <laughs> and then we have the well, we have the espresso machine. I don't even know where to put that yet. But yeah, thanks, Alex. Saw you saw a restaurant in Angeles called Pork Hub. All right, I wish you'd take a picture of that. From the video, I see a bunch of happy people in the slums in the Philippines. People are happy, and if you're gonna, you know, uh, I call that poverty porn where they show the slums that's their way of life you know they're not sitting there yeah everybody wishes they had better but they live their life you know they get up in the morning and they do what they have to do to survive eating ice cream is mike's hobby yes i haven't had ice cream in a long time uh when we back i've been i've been very good at the sweet end of it except i you did just buy cloud nine guys yeah what do you buy I, I had some cloud. I, Three boxes. 
I didn't eat all three boxes. He he buy three boxes, but middle of the midnight. <laughs> Twelve in a box. There's they're still in the fridge, but <laughs> but I shouldn't have them in the house. But I haven't been doing Lay's potato chips. I haven't been doing soda. No soda in a long time, right? Mm, one time we the ferry, just, right? yeah. Maybe just in the Valencia with the yeah. Place. When we had dinner, Which I got one? a small. But I gave PJ half my bottle. Uh, been really cutting back on a lot of things. Keto is such a hard diet here to hold. It, it really is. But you miss it. it, it. <laughs> Even if you get just fried chicken all the time, the heavy breading, the flour, you know, mm -hmm. it's just, it's, it's hard. Hey guys, we are Lynn and Lena and Leslie from Davao area. We're going to head your area, area in a couple of weeks to explore Behold. And, and we will be, be in Dumaguete. Hope to meet you guys. Let us know. Where you think? Because we will be travel. Well, in a couple of weeks, but we're going next week. Um, uh -huh. As long as it's next month, April, we'll be here in April. It's today, April. May. If you're here in May, <laughs> most of April, we're going to be busy. Uh, look it up on the news. California homeless man. Well, mm. uh, person's leg was okay. I'm not going to look it up. I'm going to take your word for it, Wayne. I really don't want to see something like that. Uh, I have a reconstructive surgery on my foot Wednesday, so I'll watch your channel a lot to keep uh, and keep them coming. All right, guys, uh, become channel members, and I'm, I'm promising you a lot. A lot of videos uh, are going to go up there, short videos, but I don't want the the public subscribers to be discouraged. I'm still going to put up my content constantly on my uh, YouTube channel, but they're shorter, funnier, and some things are meant for a public audience that are going to be there. And I think it's geared more towards someone who is actually coming here. Okay, what else we got here? And we need the support. You know, we appreciate your support as a channel member, um, you know, supporting us in our endeavors here to uh, bring as the best content I can give. Janet, did you talk to Mike about him using a dirty word in his last video? She didn't hear that. I did not. I did not yet saw that. She didn't I'm watch the video. She didn't watch the video. Yeah. Mike. I told Mike don't is, watch the bad words. Mike is more Filipino than me, and I was born there, so I moved to the U.S. when I was twelve. Mm -hmm. I do the eyebrow thing now. Hey, baby. Lift the eyebrow when you try to pick a girl up. Hi from Queens, New York. Just finished the Yankee Cleveland game. Yanks won. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be uh, politically incorrect and call them the Cleveland Indians. That's what I call them. That's why I call them. I don't know That's what right. they're called now, but uh, yeah. nothing wrong with being called an Indian. Uh, it sounds uh, like using the pH thriftiness comes I'm in handy that. yes it does the the philippines is is a great interesting place mm -hmm. yeah. here. have you uh been scammed recently have i been no not recently but before i came here i was scammed often i was often often many scammed. times Coffee flavored ice cream. Mm. Mm. You go down into the description of this uh, live stream and there's a link to a video. That's the video about me being scammed. It's, uh, yes. you know, I had uh, 250,000 views on it. If you haven't watched it yet, watch it. It's an interesting video and I'll let nice you know much. how easy it is to get scammed. Does anyone live on boats or marinas over there? Uh, people have told me they try to. Uh, I'm going to say yes in the Manila area, uh, but not here uh, around uh, Dumaguete. There's no safe harbor here. Ice cream is my weakness. It's every man's weakness. The camera you are using is crystal clear, good visual. Wow, it's the camera and the laptop. The laptop. It's a, this yeah, cleared, uh, and this is a newer laptop. This is a Acer, an Acer, and it's a, a gamer. It's a gamer computer, gamer. Uh, Nivea software, uh, Intel Core, uh, GeForce X, you know XT. 
I don't know anything. Predator Halo 300. Yeah, it's 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 a very good computer. Really good in the thing. And the uh, and the Wi-Fi now is so much better. If you live in America as an older indivisible man, uh, where you're not even a 75 year old woman would date you, Pornhub is the only option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those women like us, Matt. New yeah. member, thank you, Matt, for joining. Hello, Matt. Hello, Matt. How is your life in the Philippines? How is everything going? He's in the He's around. I don't know where he goes. He's he's very he's active. Poor. Very in active, Manila. Matt. Manila, very active, Matt. Oh, uh, yeah, in Manila. Very smart guy. Very smart guy. Uh, they're called the Guardians now. Yeah. Nothing uh, wrong being called Indian if you're from India. Yeah, but when you're a baseball team, you call them the Indians. Wow. Uh, good hotel in Manila is the Shangri-La. 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 Okay. Yes. Have you heard of... Heard of the David? Or on a, or next? Oh, there's an Australian scammer raised a bunch of money for a, a legally flood... There's a lot of jerks like that. There's guys here in the Philippines who are raising money for churches, who are raising money for their farm, who are raising money for orphanages. Are they really? Are they really? Don't you don't you think there's international organizations that that help these places uh, build? Now, an existing orphanage, you want to donate money to there? Sure. An existing church? Sure. An existing uh, social service network, sure, but to build a brand new one, to to build somebody's farm, for what outcome? You know, new. You need when you give money to charities, you you need to be able to verify it's a charity, and if the only way they can raise money is on YouTube or or Facebook, um, you think they're probably not legit because all these. Uh, organizations that give money you know throughout the world for projects for plumbers uh, for plumbing and water pumps and solar and and they don't help them build a church and they don't help them build a farm and they don't help them build an orphanage because they're probably not legit you know just because five guys get together and sit down and say man we're going to build a church well you know the philippines has a lot of churches a lot of churches. They build a big one up here in in uh, in uh, Valencia. They got a huge Catholic church, and they have a lot of smaller churches that are already there that need help. You know, they, they have a small congregation, and the preacher's been preaching for years there, and you know, raising money for the food for uh, the neighborhood and his flock. These people need the help, not to build a brand new church. I'm going to build a brand new church. I'm going to build this brand new orphanage. Well, they don't need new buildings. These orphanages are already here with children in them that need help. So people who are trying to build brand new stuff, I don't know too much about that stuff. And this guy, I don't know too much about him at all. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'm not against giving people money. It, you know, it's your heart. Help people give them money. Do it. It's up to you. But, uh, you know, that's my two cents. Please like, subscribe. It's free. Joining is as low as 99 cents. Yeah. Yeah, Mark. I got to hire you as my publicist. Yeah, please, guys, hit the buttons and subscribe. Go truck yourself. $20 super chat. Thank you. Thank you for that super chat. Shout out to you. Go truck yourself. Thank you for these towers for our trip next week. Guys, thank you so much. So we have a budget now for the trip. No, we don't. <laughs> Man. We go to Iloilo, guys. Hiding Iloilo. Yeah. Thank you, Matt, for the super chat. Welcome back to the channel as a Hello, member Matt. also. Thank hey, you. guys, popping in May 10th for a four to five weekish stay. If you know someone who has an all-inclusive rental, please let us know. Looking for a nice and priced, not a big house if right. Hope to buy you dinner. Uh, just did CDO. 
mm-hmm. in Longo City. All right, love to talk to you about CDO. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we yeah. haven't seen Matt in a long time. Yes, thank you so much. Enjoy him there, Matt. Daryl King. Daryl King Channel, thank you for this super sticker you gave us. Thank you so Shout much. Shout out to you. Daryl, is that a do you yeah, have a, Darren King is, channel? Is that a YouTube channel? I'm unaware. Are you is, do you have a channel and should we check it out? I see you made a comment here just below. Why do you need to show it on YouTube when giving it to people? people? Why why do you have a need, a need to, to show it on YouTube when you're giving the public? You don't. You give, you give. And every every once in a while, uh, say somebody sends you something, they say, Mike, I want you to go take care of this, do this. Uh, I will do it and I'll send them a private video. I'll do it a private video. And if they're doing videos about it, they're just advertising, looking for donations. Please be careful on who you donate to. First time here, I will subscribe. Thank you. The wife and I are building a house in St. Nicholas. St. Nicholas. Where is that? Sammy? Leaving Kansas City in four uh-huh. weeks. Ah, so I don't know where St. Nicholas is. Is it on St. The... Nicholas? Maybe outside. Is it in uh, Negros or Cebu? Let us know what island that's at. You really want to know the truth about religion and expats uh, would be uh, Greg, Wim, that Yoda. Yeah, I highly re- recommend you read to get the real truth and the real name from the past. I really don't want to know about uh, the the religion and experts in the past here who have conned people out of money. I'd love to know who they are, you know, and so I don't donate to their channel or anything. Part of Luzon up. Why it looks like it's winding down. Have a good day, good night. Yes, it is. We are just, like we're just down. a few minutes being finished here, Mikey. Yeah. We went from a high of like 250 viewers at one time down to 100. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure, check it out. It's in its early stages, but showing the house as we have it built. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like I said, if you can, try. Oh, here it is. It's in Luzon. Yeah, Luzon. Okay. Yeah, Luzon. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if we'll ever get up there to visit, uh, visit you, but if you end up down this way, let us know. Uh, that's way up north. Yeah, way, way up north. Luzon is not on my list of places to go. The only person I want to meet up in Luzon is I'd love to meet Steve, the Philippine Info Channel. Uh, other than that, there's not much draw for me to go uh, to Manila. Yeah. If we ever travel out of the country and we have to catch a flight in, in Manila, I might spend a, a whole day there and, and go check out Steve. Yeah. Great Saturday night for us. Yeah, it was a lot of fun today. I'm glad y'all yes. joined us. Do you say, do you pay quarterly payments to the IRS? No, I don't. I file my taxes once a year, just like I've always done. I don't know if you got accommodations. That, no, I don't, but I would recommend one special if you haven't. It's not far from uh, Fiesta Walk and close That's to the good. boardwalk. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We'll we'll check that out. Thanks, guys. Very valuable information I learned uh, before I moved there. I'm sure the knowledge you share will make a smooth transition. Thank you, guys. Hey, Eric. Thank you so much, Eric. I'm, so we hit it in the end. We we at the end. We did three hours, man. It's, we've done two. Fifty-nine, fifty-six here. Two hours and fifty-three minutes. And I want to thank each and every one of you who joined us on the, the live stream. Thanks, everybody, for the super chats. Thank you all for joining the channel and uh, becoming members. A couple new members today. Antonio, big heart from Janet there. She loves you, too. Thank you to hear, guys, for watching us. We're live, weekly live. Have a great Sunday. Yes, we will. I'm going to go watch the war here. I'm going to go get off the computer and go watch TV and see see the war. What is Janet's channel? Uh, in the description. Philippine Life with Janet. Philippines Life with Janet. Janet. 
<laughs> and I'm going to put the uh, the banner up. Do I have a banner of that? No. No, nothing on Janet's. But in all my videos in the description box, there's okay. says Dumaguete Rental or uh, uh, Philippine Life with Janet. Both look beautiful. Well, thank you, Antonia. You know I'm taken. <laughs> you know I'm taken, guy. I have a certain type, and you don't fit the the profile of what type I'm looking for. Mm. Time for a beer. Well, it's ten in the morning. Time for me to get a fresh cup of coffee. Beer. <laughs> Who wants to drink a beer, guys? Okay, he he he's the expert on religious exposing and condemning really well that, if that's what he does that's what he does i don't know the guy at all um uh, but i will check him out paul a new channel member hey we got hey. another channel member here thank you paul really appreciate that thank you guys for welcome to our new welcome member. welcome i hope i don't disappoint i guarantee you there's going to be new videos on the new channel members and I do have many videos for the main channel, Mike's Philippine Retirement. All right, everybody, we're going to say goodbye and say good night to you all. That God is bless. A new member for Inner Circle. God bless. Thank um, you, guys. Happy Sunday and happy Saturday there. God bless you all. Take care. Bye See now. you next time. See you next time. <laughs>